Hi and welcome to another edition of Winner Stays On Sessions here live from Capcom UK headquarters here in the heart of West London, Hammersmith. My name's Logan Salma, I am joined by Matt Edwards as always, what's going on? Yeah man, hey man, how's it going? All good, you had a busy week? Yes, I've been uh, camera training all this weekend and I've just had uh, Premier Pro training for over Monday, Tuesday as well. So, so I've been very busy. The but I did, manage to, channel. I did manage to catch Kakutop over the weekend. So. Good man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great action this weekend. Very true. Um, if you missed out on Kakutop, make sure you watch that back. Um, I believe you can check the VODs on Unequaled Media. Can you? Thumbs up? Yes, you can. I mean, archived it. Sick. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Um, but we are going to be talking about some of the events that happen this weekend and the events that happen next weekend as well this week. Big one. Mm. The first premiere event in Europe, Stunfest, is happening in Rennes in France this weekend. I'm going to be there, f going to be there, uh, Zaid Ramp is going to be there. We're all going to be on commentary once more, uh, and we are going to be joined by some of the finest, the finest Street Fighter players in the world uh, for this first of the European premiere events. Have you events. seen the full list? The full um, list? Yeah, we're going to go for that a little bit later, yeah. but it's action fully, fully stacked out. So, uh, we'll 512 to man tournament. They literally That's right, sold out. Yep, yep, sold out, so it's all good. Um, no sign ups on the day. Their biggest event yet. They are at capacity now, so if you haven't signed up yet, it's too late. It's not too late for a DreamHack Summer, though, which is happening June the 18th and 19th. So if you're right. looking to travel to Europe for a premier event, uh, check out DreamHack Summer in Sweden. Uh, coming up tonight on the show, we have got Problem X, we have got PAX, we have got Berserk, we have got Comps, we have got Flawless, and we have got Kim inside the place. Um, they're going to be kicking it off tonight. Got some great sets for you, you know the format. It's first to three, it's winner stays on format. And if you win three sets, you're off as well, three and off. Uh, so you don't see the same people playing all night long. Yeah, yeah. Get a bit uh, of variety in there. We're going to kick it off tonight. We've got a Flawless Deku Jordan Player 1 using the Kali and Vizerk using Nash Player 2. Both these players are performing really solidly right now at the London Weekly, which is called Bracket Reset. If you've caught that on a Thursday night, I'm sure you'll know all about some of these players we feature here on Winner Stays On. Our aim is to showcase some of the finest players in the United Kingdom and we try and bring that to you each and every Tuesday night right here on Capcom Fighters. So we're going to kick it off like this. Someone's giving you a shout out on the stream. Did you hear Logan Sandler's verse on Fight. views? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Talking rubbish. Of course in, in 13 minutes time my mix will be going out on uh, one extra as well if you want to listen to that. In okay. Put that on you can see. Double up. Logan Sandler twice. Exactly. All good stuff. Great corner pressure here already. A considerable life lead for Jordan. Locks the mix up with the V trigger. I'm really looking forward to uh, looking at some of the analysis we're going to do later on. We're actually going to be looking at one of the events that happened oh, at a very antisocial hour. Battle Arena Melbourne happened uh, this weekend. It was a Capcom Pro Tour event, the only Capcom Pro Tour event that happened this weekend out of the three that were on. And of course, Haitani and Momochi met in Grand Finals, and we're going to be looking at that set later on in the show. It's a really excellent I must set. Admit, I haven't seen that one. I'm quite looking forward to seeing that. Absolutely. So we're going to be looking at that. I've watched it a couple of times now. Really enjoyed that. Was one. that we're Ken versus Nikali? It was indeed, yeah. Okay. I won't spoil the result for no, you. No, I don't know, yeah. Hopefully, it went down to the wire. So a lot of Nikali players are now using his V skill a lot more. Yeah. Obviously in V trigger he is so strong uh, and he retains that V trigger for the entire rest of the round. So a lot of people are saying he's the best character in the game once he's in V trigger. Possible. I'm not entirely sure. He's definitely very good and he is better in V trigger. So it makes sense to get that V trigger activated as early as you possibly can. So a lot of the combos are ending in uh, the V skill. Oh and nice. of course he's one of the only characters that doesn't actually need to cause damage with his uh, V skill to build V gauge. He actually gets V gauge on block. block. Yeah. yeah. That ridiculous oh, see an enemy here nice. is really off putting as well. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anybody starts. use the uh, orange Nikali before. Oh, it's, you see when he's he's in V trigger mode and Ken's in V trigger mode and he's got all the fire around him as well. It's, it's so off putting. Those pyrotechnics is going oh, on. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't wake up super and it's going to work. Ah. Went for the meaty. He does have an invincible move on wake up. You see a lot of um, players use wake up critical art 
for their characters where they have no yeah, probably viable one of them. wake up uh, reversal moves <coughs> because you feel so comfortable going for a meaty attack or yeah. throw on their wake up. I see the few Alex players go for it a fair bit. Yeah. It's obviously a huge risk. But you're basically playing on yeah. the opponents, you know, getting too comfortable. Yeah, exactly. That's how you're just applying that pressure because you ain't got any options when they get up. Ooh. Oh, nice. Met him in the air. Nice reactions Nicali there from Jordan. Win. Definitely think Nikali's up there. He's definitely in the top five. Uh, for oh, me. without a doubt, yeah. Um, he's got all the tools that he requires. He's got a great DP, no meter. He's got a command grab. He's got a three frame jab. Yeah, three frame jab, you Great wake up damage, with tremendous, to v -trigger and then um, do what you want. Yep, tremendous V trigger. Really good V skill. He's got that dive kick there, which you can't combo off of, but it just makes it difficult to anti air him as well. Three frame jab? Yeah, mentioned that. Um, and of course, he's got that hard kick, which you can just fish out there and fish for the crush counters. He's got an overhead. He's got an overhead that crush counters as yeah. well, which is crazy. A lot of tools. He is a particularly linear character, however. Yeah. That does allow for... Um, and his command grabs eight frames, isn't it? So it's not yeah. like massively quick. That's so not not really something you go for a tick throw with, but if no. the player is uh, just going to try and block you out. A lot of, a lot of very strong characters um, fall down because you can just block them out. And that command grab just opens other options for them. And of course, Nikali's... Damage. One of the one of the slowest command grabs in the game. It's not the slowest, I think. Hmm. But yeah, he's he got has a got dive kick as well. Even though that's not like the most amazing dive. You're not kick, listening yeah. to anything I'm saying. Are you are you right? Okay, right. <laughs> Go through the list of all of his tools. Yeah, as I said, it's a, it just makes it difficult for you to anti-air him reliably. It kind of delays his uh, his jump yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it can make your anti-air your, if you're using good normals. against Chun Li or something. Like that, which goes to the yeah, if like they're it. just if they're just reliably going for normal anti-airs mm. um, that are not tremendously active, it, it definitely can mess their timings up with those. Um, it can be tricky to combo off of it, but you have to land it kind of like on their toes. It's, it's not really for that. It's no. more for just getting the hit in and yeah. getting the frame advantage. But you can get that crouching medium punch if you get it perfectly spaced. You can do. And if it's a Wednesday and the <laughs> yeah. moon is Very incorrect. situational. Yeah, exactly. The wind's blowing in the right direction. I love that knee as well. Yeah, the standing uh, medium kick. <coughs> Of course, he's crouching medium punch that you're seeing him just poke with there, and crouching medium kick as well. Such great tools. Yeah. He's got the ability to cover both wake up timings as well, with I believe it's his crouch oh, yeah. heavy punch. Mm. He can throw that out. It's active for four frames, which means you can throw it out to connect on the third frame that they wake up on if they do a normal quick rise. Uh, and you can make it active until the first frame they'll get up on if they do the backflip. So okay. it actually covers both of the the quick get up options mm. um, which is really powerful <coughs> <coughs> a nice overhead there Nash nice, tremendously useful as well he's got great mobility able to go in and out play a zoning game play a pressure game as well and of course if you've seen the uh, post that Graham Wolf put up he actually illustrates how difficult it is to deal with Nash's mobility his dash is 17 frames which is very fast if you used to play SF4 that's about as fast as uh, as Abel's uh, forward dash, so very difficult to react to. Even more so for uh, Nash because he doesn't actually have any sort of visual triggers. Lovely V trigger combo. It looks like there. he's crouching at the start. Exactly. Of his dash, it he, doesn't yeah. actually move forward until the eighth frame. Mm. Um, you can't really react to that. So, along with the uh, inbuilt, in inbuilt input delay in the game, it makes it really difficult to, to react to his dash. Uh, and put a move out. It is, of course, possible, but you know, when you're thinking about all the other things that he's got, his great ground game, his normals, his sonic booms, of course, as well. Oh, nice! Good punish. Oh, that's that's this round over. This is going to be a perfect round. There you go. Ends in critical art. <laughs> and this is looking really there you go really bad for Vizirk right now and that's that weird sound thing isn't it like uh, when the Kali ends on his um, critical art at the moment for some reason you don't get the final kind of like there's a KO. few there's a few kind of like sound glitches yeah uh, I've noticed that specifically in the Kali um, I mean obviously like Capcom those. we know about them I just mm. I'm not entirely sure how it's cropped up but yes um, 
Best uh, of five, first of three, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, first of three. We've got so many people here today, it may as well like uh, rotate quite a bit. Yeah. We want to get as many of these great players on as possible. And of course, we've got that uh, analysis coming up later on as well. Yeah, so do about an hour and a half of uh, first two, five. The first three, best of fives, and then do the analysis. And you are loading up on grapes this evening. I'm trying to replace junk food from my diet, which means I have to eat a lot of something else. <laughs> and I know grapes have got lots of sugar in, but... At least it's I'm natural. It's better than the rubbish I was eating before. True. Mm. Get in my face. Delicious. Uh, of course, this isn't a tournament. This isn't a serious event. It's just a session. That's why it's called Winner Stays on Sessions, uh, where we just get... Players if the players want to take it seriously, they're more than welcome. We to, rotate you know? it yeah. around. Um, best of three set. Foot, sorry, first of three sets. And of course, you guys in the chat, let us know where you're watching. Uh, and I can see that you've got the chat there uh, available to you, Matt. So yep. we'll give you some shout outs if you're watching. If you're in the UK, let us know what city you're representing in the UK. And of course, if you're tuned in from around the world, let us know. Uh, we love to hear from all of the, uh, the worldwide fighting game community, of course. Mm. That's enough grapes. Ah. Uh, so we've got Comp stepping up, who uses Chun-Li. Uh, Chun-Li, a very, very strong character, but... Um. So we've got New Zealand, Chicago, USA, London, Seattle, Rome. Oklahoma, Rome. Albany, South California, Australia. Australia, I wonder if they were down at uh, Battle Arena Melbourne this weekend. Boom beatdown. Another Chicago, Miami. Miami? Miami, Miami. Germany. Essex. Oh, yeah! Where are you from in Essex? Let us know. You can be more specific than Essex. Oh, so I'm interested. That's where I live. Las Vegas, Jersey, Algeria. People just better wherever they want. I mean, this could be lies for you now. It could be, but I trust the people. Yeah, they're normally quite trustworthy. So here we go, Comp stepping up with his chun -Li. A man grab. And again. Ready to go for a third? No. The thing is, until chun has got EX bar, she has to take whatever you want to do on wake up. She has no invincible wake up options. She has got a three frame jab, which is, I guess, a, a legit wake up option in this game. Um, but yeah, if your meaties are tight and she's got no bar, it is not fun for her. Isn't EX spinning bird invincible in startup? It is, that's why I said he needs to get EX meter. Oh, okay. Oh, someone from Watford. That's your team, right? Technically, yeah. <laughs> Just poking away. Oh, it's going to punch. No punish! Can you get a crush count off a normal uh, spinning bird? No, you cannot. That has absolutely zero invincibility, so... Uh, yeah, it'd be a bit unfair, I guess. No, no, more of a combo no, moves, mo no moves with no invincibility to at all can be crush counted on recovery. Nice. Good conversion. Good awareness of the spacing there as well. He gets the overhead. Oh, one more. Don't be too greedy, my DP. Stun. Oh, that was a good re-reversal. It was a very good. Now is that stun is no longer a threat. Yeah. Nice anti yeah. Oh, Comps closes the round out. What a massive comeback that, that was. That was literally just walked in from one side of the corner to the other and just hit all along the way. Jordan respected him as well. He did. I thought he was going to DP when he um, uh, did well, the B-reverse on wake-up. one of those points oh. I thought he was going to DP. He didn't DP at all and he ended up losing the round. Yeah. But Too again, much respect. I'm sure Chun, Chun made now again. has no meter, so if she gets knocked down, it's going to be... Not a nice time for her. She has to take these throw mix-ups. Meaties. Oh, the little shimmy yeah. into the big damage. Yeah, his crouching medium kick has quite a bit of range. Berserker Barrage in the corner. X-Men have arrived. Over her? No. That's going to be dead. Not even like it to build bar, but what the hell. That was Force of habit. I've actually <laughs> I almost completely forgot. I've got to go and watch X-Men after this. Oh, really? Yeah. This evening? Yeah, midnight showing. Wow. <coughs> So that will be me and the Uber as soon as we go off air. Add to our North American compatriots. You don't get to see that for about two weeks, I don't think. No, yeah, same with um, Civil War, wasn't it? Yep. Oh, well, they'll get to see it eventually. 
that? Oh, nice! I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that was on reaction to the legs. It's definitely possible to react to if you're looking for it. Nice pressure here from Comps. Nice damage, only for one bar. Oh, wasn't... That was a risky X Kokoke, and he would have been crushed countered yeah. if he was a little bit closer. That would have hurt. That would have been the round without any doubt at all. Nice use of that V skill after the target combo, just in case. <coughs> You've seen a lot of uh, Nakali players ending combos with uh, the V skill now as well to build it up. Big Bird saying, no spoilers please, Logan. All of the spoilers. You're getting all of the spoilers. Is your Twitter going to blow up with every little detail? Yeah. yeah. Well, I might uh, live tweet the action as I'm watching <laughs> it later on. Follow me at Winners the Get Sun. arrested because <laughs> they think you're recording the film. I'm one of those people that goes in the cinema and turns the brightness on my screen all the way down so I can carry on sending texts and stuff. Yeah, that's non-stop, isn't it? Yes, sir. Nice pressure in the corner, but great patience from Jordan. Oh, oh. he's baited. And again he gets hit with that. He's caught by the overhead. You're watching, you're, you're really paying attention to a lot of other things, so that yeah. overhead does catch you unawares. No, he got baited again. I was just giving Jordan so much credit for his patience, but he got baited out twice hard there as well. I think obviously he was looking for the fireball, wasn't he? But mm. <coughs> Comps on full bar as well. Uses it. Doesn't work out from that time. Nice corner pressure. Not not rushing too much to go in. That's done. Yeah. Okay, it this is. is over. I really like that from Jordan. He was controlling the corner rather than mm. pinning her in the corner. He was just marshalling the corner so yep. that she weren't she wasn't able to jump over him realistically. He had enough time to react to it. Could whiff punish um, any of her slower normals that she threw out to try and yeah. He just let Comps uh, hang himself basically. And he was throwing out that hard kick as well just yeah. in case. Still in range for that. So nice stuff there from Jordan. Nice air to air does the job. Oh, oh, the range, range on that, that was max range. The light one deceptively long in range. That's really the, the use of the, the command grab. You're not really going to be tick throwing into it. You're going to be doing it as a as a meaty on their wake up yeah. because they're scared of your uh, your meaty pressure. They're yeah. going to block. You don't want to get crushed out by Nakali. Exactly. Well, not by any character, but Nakali is definitely one of them at the top of the list. One of the challenge. There great. he does challenge though. Jab into tick throw. Fishing with that medium kick now. So when Chen Li is in V trigger, is this sweep safe on block? No, no, no. All the moves are still, I believe, just as punishable as they would be. It's just the timing's different. Maybe. Right, okay. They do obviously more damage. Oh, the classic! No. Had to respect um, that V trigger activation mm. and took the uh, the command grab. So take it you're watching Kaku Top this weekend. Uh, I was trying to watch everything this weekend. I watched um, Canada Cup Vancouver, saw Justin Wong, you know, with a decent performance with his goal. Uh, he ended up losing to uh, K Brad's Cami. Yeah. Uh, he he was didn't use. Um, Justin Wong was using Guile and Alex the whole weekend. Um, he had some nice. He's got so nice many points. Stuff. I guess you can just. Well, it's not really a CBT event, I guess. But yeah, it was just just I think yeah. a lot of the a lot of the players seem to be travelling to some of these other events. And oh, nice. nice. He got V gauge and managed to get the big damage off the, the critical arc cancel as well. A lot of players are traveling around, especially in North America, uh, to these, these regional events and really getting their levels up. Of course, Evo is just around the corner, only two months away. Oh, the damage on that. Carly wins. Who are we throwing up against Jordan next? Is he going to get a hat trick? Who I don't know. Who's going to be stepping up? Is Pax here? Pax is here. Yes, yeah, just throw him in. Throw him in the lines. Comps, okay. throw Pax on, please, mate. Can you throw Pax on, please? Uh, so I was playing Pax a little bit before um, we went on. Yeah, he was playing Chun against you, wasn't he? He was using a lot of characters. He, he has a fang that I know he's been putting uh, some time into just, just to play yeah. the character. I don't think he's going to be... Uh, using anyone seriously in competition other than carrying. Yeah, yeah. But if you use the um, the character, then you kind of like understand him a bit better. He's got a very competent Fang. Um, he's got a decent Alex as well. 
He's messing around with Ken and Chun Li. Um, but yeah, Karin of course is his main. Uh, he's probably going to be using most of Karin tonight. Um, How many of these guys are going to stun first? Like, I'm obviously Pax must be going. Hello, Com's going. Pax, are you going stun first? You going stun first? Yeah. Uh, I know Pax is going then. Uh, Affy's going. Red yep. and Perilous. Team Perilous, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Problem X is going. Sean's going, I think. I'm still a daddy. Oh, that would be good. Um, I believe. I believe Tyrant's going as well. Yes. I know I've seen the list of Damascus players. Damascus is going. Yeah. Uh, we'll go through the list of international attendees as well a little bit later on. I'll, I'll try and pull that up on my phone. Um, Hell of a lot. I mean, obviously, it would make sense being in France, but there is a lot of uh, French people who have entered the tournament. If you're going to Stunfest, get at me on Twitter, at WinnerStaysOn. Let yeah. me know. I'd really like to know if there's any more. And if you're in the stream chat as well, I think um, Gutex going to. Gutex is definitely, he's yeah. in Paris already. Yeah. I saw him posting that in his Airbnb. If uh, any of you guys in the stream chat are going to Stunfest, then let us know. It'd be good to see you there. Uh, this is going to be both of these guys' last game, because if uh, Jordan wins, that's three and off. And if Pax wins, Jordan's off anyway. So we're going to be seeing at least one new player, possibly two. After this set, great stuff from Jordan. But, but if Pax the, wins, he stays on, doesn't he? If Pax wins, he stays on. Yeah. But either way, Jordan comes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, stayed in front. That was nasty. <laughs> oh, Phenom's in the chat. Yeah, shoutouts to Phenom having a uh, pretty damn good performance at um, Kakutop this weekend. Did he come second? He did, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he did, yeah. I believe so. Luffy came first. Luffy, def def Luffy definitely Well, yeah, it was like first. plus 17 or something, wasn't it? He like barely lost the game. Yeah. I think he lost three all weekend, is he? Yeah, I mean, Luffy leveled up after um, home spotting. My he God. was really implementing his command grabs a lot more um, than he had done previously. Great stuff from Luffy, really impressive. I mean, hopefully he'll be going up against some of the um, Asian players at uh, Stunfest as well, so we can... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Jesus you got to time that really well because you have to wait like perfectly as they're coming down rather than hit it. It's, it's quite easy to miss. It's not that difficult to hit, but no, yeah. but you can. You can definitely miss it. Yeah, you can do. Yeah. Goes for the slime, and that is going to be it. Yeah, That's pretty much all of the damage bag. comes in the last hit. That's why it looks like it does so much. I'm gonna uh, stream chat. I mean, obviously I. It's kind of hard to say at this point, but who who do you think is going to win Stunfest? We can't. There's no way they can say that until we go through who's actually there. Uh, uh, is it, I can't remember. Is Infiltration going? Infiltration Infiltration's not going. No, it's not. And Cien's not going as Tequito well. Tequito is. As far as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure I've seen the list and Tequito's going. I think Tequito's yeah. going. Daigo, of course, is going to be there. Now let me uh, check that's out. That's his go. first CPT event. Yes, yes, correct. Of course, Daigo was there at uh, Red Bull Kumite. You saw him play. Great set against uh, Tokido in the first round. Right, where is it? Mm. Yeah, incredibly, ridiculously long inbox. There we go. So we've got the list coming up. Registered players. Oh, shout out to Gino who's going to uh, Stuntfest as well. Shout out to everybody across the UK. Okay, so in terms of Japan, we have Fudo, Bass, Haitani, Bonchan, Margo, Tokido, Daigo. Onuki, Do you want me to read Kazunoko, so uh, I'll give it a go. Uh, Ita, <laughs> Gio1. Go Goichi is there, yes, he's yeah. a very, very... Um, Dogura and... Dogura, yeah. And who's Umizono? I don't know who that is. So let's have a look at that list again. <coughs> Bass is there, the uh, CBS, CBS guard. Yeah. Fudo, I'm not entirely sure if he's there, because he's going to be on Team Razor, and they are... Because he's playing um, in Mika, isn't he? Yeah, he's using Miko at the moment. Um, but Team Razor are involved in SF Crash in Korea. That's why Infiltration and Zian are not there. So I'm not entirely certain that Fudo will be there. Hartani is Re obviously going to be really impressive with his Nakali there. Oh my... No, see I told you, you got to time it perfectly. Uh, Bonchan. 
I'm really looking forward to Bonchan. He was impressive at Red Bull Kumite with his Yeah, his Ryu. Ryu was like really on point. Very solid. Uh, great performance Looked there. Looked like if he put a couple more weeks in, he might actually be yeah, very capable of winning a tournament. Speaking of uh, Karin, of course, Mago is going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, Kazunoko, I <coughs> think, is still using Kami. Yeah, I'm that makes messing sense. around with a couple other characters. Um, Ata with his uh, Ken. It's a great set between uh, Ata and Momochi recently. Did he play a Buki in four? Ata played Akuma in four. Akuma, okay. One of the one of the first great Akumas. Going all the way back to vanilla. Goichi's uh, Chun Li, of course, very very strong. Uh, Dogura, I believe, is using Bison. F word told me uh, last time it came up. Oh, cool. Who else is there from the rest of Europe? MBR. Uh, immersion. Is Zian going? Zian. Zian. No, he's uh, he's a SF crash in Korea. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Pax Affy Tyrant, Answer the Daddy, Problem X. Incognitus is repping. Luckbox is there. With his Dalsam. So Zian is signed up. You reckon they might have like signed up and pulled out? I don't think he's gonna go though. If okay. he's there, that would be even better than uh, you know what we're expecting. But yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think he's gonna go. Uh, Poppy's there from Sweden, of course. Yeah, because he went to um, Huntsman, didn't he? But unfortunately, got there too late. Uh, RB and Gamer B are apparently gonna be representing there uh, from Taiwan. Sonic and Human Bomb are traveling there as well. That's gonna be sick. Yep. Cobblecog is over there from uh, Ireland. Ireland. yeah. Who else have we got? Who are the, the, the premium French players? Well, yeah, there? I mean, like, there's predominantly French players on the list. But uh, Hallebel is going to be there from Germany. Is Fenon going? Um, Norway. Zhao Hai is there. Awesome. Gutex. Yeah, like the only US player. Yeah. Most of those guys are going to uh, Toyuken, I believe, in Toronto, yeah. which is a ranking event. Get those points on the doorstep. Mm. Fenom, if you're going to Stunfest, can you send me a tweet and let me know, please? Hopefully him and Anveggy are going. There's a guy from Guadeloupe going. How fantastic is oh, that? Oh, cool. Uh, so let's have a look at some of the French sign-ups. And, uh, and Belgium as well, of course. A CCL from Belgium, you'd have seen him at... Uh, you default pretty much all the Kaku players top. from Kaku Top, all the French players will be going. Zhao Hai, as I mentioned, from China. Akainu is a very strong Nash player from France. Uh, there's a lot of, as you can imagine, the predominance of uh, sign ups are from France. Evans is going to be there with his Karin. Meanwhile, Jordan is putting in a strong shift. Ah, oh. come man grab. Nice. Read it. Uh, Red Bull's Kayani's there. Alune is going to be there. Looking Damascus. to redeem himself after the Kakutop performance. I know he's going to want to silence some of his critics. Uh, he ran it back against Problem, didn't he, on the, the last day and like uh, convincingly blew him up. White, ba White Black is going to be there. A player that's made himself uh, known mostly for Marvel, Marvel 3. Wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, he's another player that has uh, transitioned over. There are some random names on this list. Will Tupac, of course, off the back of his tremendous performance at Dreamhack Austin, is going to be at Stunfest. Yeah. I got excited for a moment. I saw Dark Alucard. <laughs> I thought, what? No, that's not the same Alucard. The bait. Valmaster, I see his name there. Kyungster on the list. Link Zello. Genius. Someone signed up as Wens Marvel. I wonder if that's Norman Genius. Sorry? There's a, a genius there. I wonder if that was Norman Genius. I'd imagine that would be the birdie player genius. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, it, Norman Genius. Yeah. He, he plays, does um, commentates with Ken Bogard sometimes. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's an RR Phenom. That's R -R. France. I don't think that will, that probably won't be the, the same Phenom. He's, of course, from uh, Norway. I'm only halfway through the names, and I'm at like 200 or. 
Ryux is going to be there. Luffy, Luffy confirmed. There Red Bull Luffy. There's a lot of names on this list that I'm just scrolling through. A lot of names that I don't recognise. Just trying to find the, uh, the, the the brand names, the high profile players that are going to be playing. Apologies if I miss anyone out. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all of the... Oh, Mr. Crimson is there as well. There we go, right at the end. That's all of the French players there. So a very strong list of players. Did you find um, Phenom on there? No, I couldn't see Phenom. Oh, no. Phenom, if you're not going, that's very poor show. No, Phenom has told me he is not going to Stunfest this year. So, that's a shame. Never mind. God I'm damn sure it. he'll be repping at uh, DreamHack once more. I know he said he's going to go to <coughs> Evo, at least, so maybe he's just saving the uh, the money for that. Which is fair enough. Yep, so it's a swap over. We will have... Oh, let me... I'll play Kim. Kim can batter me for a bit. Oh, okay. Huh? You're leaving those grapes unguarded. Someone from Vietnam. Cooney. Oh, trying to get this chat back up. Crack-a-lackin'. Pax, how's it going? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? When did you get back from, um... Did you, uh, with Kankito, did you fly back on the Sunday evening or did you come back on it the was, Monday? It was, uh, Eurostar. I got, it was on, um, yesterday. Yesterday morning. Uh, I was supposed to go to work, but I was too tired. No, yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I just kind of like fell asleep for like 24 hours or whatever. Were there lots of, like, sets and stuff played after the, um, the tournament? Or? You know what? We didn't play. I played a lot of problem, but I didn't play with anyone else. Oh really? After going all that way, you thought you guys would have just like you know had some like hotel. Oh sets no, not really afterwards because of how early the train was. Right. Okay. The train was really early, but um, afterwards we got offered to play a set, but I was like, the train's too early, so I don't want to go. Did you get any money matches in or anything? Ah uh, nah. There was a lot of betting, side betting, but um, yeah, like like I said, we didn't really play each other except me and Problem because we always play each other. We didn't want to give anything away, did we? So. No. Yeah. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. Oh, finally he's here. I was like, oh, I was like, what's the point of me being there, bro? Oh yeah, cool, cool. So we got uh, Buff Don Deku versus Logan Sama. So I did find with when your uh, did your interviewee said that you hadn't been to Kakito before, but it turned out that you had obviously been to the um, yeah, France like, versus uh, yeah, UK. Kankito. It's like, come on, man, I've been here. Do you yeah, remember me? Yeah. Christmas, man. Yeah. I've been here, bro. Yeah, I've been here before, so. I remember because Hurricane gave me the uh, his uh, trophy from that, so I put that in the Capcom trophy cabinet. <laughs> Hurricane was a beast. It was, right yeah. Guy. MVP. Yeah, he destroyed everyone. Sick guy. I'm looking forward to hoping they'll do one for um, five at some point. Yeah, they should be, bro. Mm. Oh, wow, I haven't seen that before. That was ridiculous amount of Yeah, damage. I'm going to move into the uh, EX chain. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. Ah, Whoa. Just do it. Fair enough. I mean, take as your fancy, mate. Whoa. Logan Sama, salesman of the year. What did you make of uh, Luffy's uh, Armika thing? Because obviously oh like, he just wrecked everyone. Luffy is really good, man. Because he must have leveled up quite a bit since he leveled the hype spot. He, leveled, uh, up he leveled up ridiculously. He's really good now. Uh, but you remember, he's, he's still Armika. So all he has to do is get in. Oh yeah, and because now, you, now, you have to, now you have to get So as long as you can guess right, yeah. you can win. Standing medium punch no, yeah, confirmed. Regardless of how good he is, as long as you can guess right, you can always win. But um, he it's his neutral with the, with the character with bad neutral. He's got a really good neutral game, but the character that has bad neutral. So he's he really makes patient. up for the, the weak points of the character. Yeah, he's really yeah. patient in that. Like he'll, he'll wait the whole game. Yeah, he's really, he's really patient and um, defense is pretty good as well. So yeah, he's good. He's, he's, he's good and it proved he, he yeah. won flawlessly. Well, like, yeah, it didn't. He didn't, like didn't, lose, uh, he didn't lose a set. No. He won flawlessly, so he definitely. Good. You can't. Nobody can say anything. No. Like that. You can't be like, oh, he needs to focus back dash or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. He's bodying people in this game now. So there's nothing you can say now. I remember it came down to him and the Phenom in the finals day. I was kind of thinking yeah. Phenom might stand a chance, but nah, nah. Luffy just destroyed everyone. Just wrecked everyone. Mm. 
flawless victory at Kakuta. No losses. It's against two Chun Li's as well. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to take that number one spot. But like again, it is it may be bad in neutral because I think it's bad for Karen. I'm bad for I'm good for Karen. Sorry, the matchup like because Karen destroys her in a neutral, but doesn't really matter. Cause she's gonna get it eventually. How did you do against Steve? Because it was in your um it was three one in the uh, groups. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, like I said, it doesn't really matter because. Is the neutral's bad, but if she does get in, which yeah, she will yeah. eventually, you, you still have to. As long as like, you get that one still, hit, then yeah, you still, yeah. still the 50 50. Yeah, so you still have to guess. Then you get outplayed. Yeah, outplayed. Yeah, <laughs> Damascus. Damascus yeah. outplayed. Loads of, loads of whiffs going on. I'm not sure what's going on right here. Do you reckon Meek is the best character for Luffy to be playing at this point? Uh, he's making it work. I didn't think Luffy would be good with a command grab character. Because he didn't play anything to do But it does use like the command grab quite sparingly. Yeah. Compared yeah, to other meekers I've seen. He, he does like a, a lot of taps. Like taps command grab. So he sits you down first. So yeah. if you hold it up, you sit, you get sat back yeah, down. Yeah, and yeah. then he does a command grab. Or he does like V-trigger setups where even if you dodge the command grab, you still get hit. So he's relatively safe anyway. But um, yeah, he still does his rag command grabs at, at, at points. Yeah. But well, they yeah. seem to like, land most of the time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He's got the read. To be honest, in this game, command grabs aren't like SF4 where you can jump out so much. Because... This game, you focus so you have to focus so much on blocking and yeah. teching and all that stuff that it's 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 more guaranteed a command grab. Like in SF4, because you had crouch tech, you don't have to worry about throw teching too much. Yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. tapping throw at the same time as they do their frame traps and stuff. Yeah. If they happen to throw you, then tech it. But they'd have to time their frame traps to counter you and whatnot. So command grabs will eat. You'll focus a lot less on defense because you've just got that auto crouch tech that you just do it anyway, yeah. and then you can just jump out. Yeah, yeah. In this game, you have to focus a lot on blocking and stuff, and also. You get wrecked for trying to dodge a command grab. Like for trying every every decision makes has got so much more risk yeah. involved. Yeah, guess, for, it, yeah. for trying to escape the command grab, you take just as much damage as getting the command. It's grab. almost worth taking the command grab. Most you don't get crush counter, do you? Yeah. Or anything like that. So you, yeah. How you do you reckon um, Luffy's performance at um, Kakatop is going to translate when he plays like uh, the the Asian players on Stumpfest? I've I've tweeted this before. Command grab characters do not care how good you are. Daigo is taking that same command grab that I took. Yeah. Who cares if Daigo? Who cares? You better jump. If you don't jump or DP, you're taking it. Or backdash. So Stu, like Luffy's got a good chance of winning Stunfest, you reckon? He can he can yeah, he can go through Stunfest with um all Japanese. But the, what I what I also say about those um like especially Army because Army can seems to like rely on that mix up. Yeah. But what I also say about Army and that mix up is the same mix up that uh get you to win can also get you the loss. Because someone could just not care yeah. and just constantly hold up all the time. And then you go for that command grab at the end, and he just hold it up. Like even yeah. though you punished him so many times for doing it, he just holds up anyway. And now you got a full, you have a full punish, new trigger, and now that's that's game on. Yeah. Now he now he's won the he won the set because he just decided to hold up. Yeah. You don't know like someone could just decide to hold up. You can't can really condition them. No. It is a gamble. Yeah, it's a gamble. Yeah. So the same win, the same way it can get you the win, it can also get you the loss. And if you decide to play really safe and never do the command grab, then you're losing out. You gotta throw it in the sometime, otherwise, yeah. Yeah, otherwise you've got you an entire I mean? tool there that you just yeah. not yeah. You know yeah. What I'm saying? yeah. So but he seems to like he used the perfect amount at the moment. Yeah, no, no, yeah. He's really it's really good, but I'm just saying like it can the same route can get you the loss yeah. as well. And especially if you've got to go for a whole tournament with like five hundred and twelve players, yeah. like it always takes is one few bad decisions you've yeah. lost. Yeah. Well, it's not even a bad decision, it's one idiot. Yeah. The guy could just never care, don't care, and just always hold up. You don't <laughs> But he can always hit the combo though. Yeah. Like he yeah. might be he might even be a bad player. But he just holds up, but when he gets the hit, he lands the biggest combo ever. Like, yeah. He might not be able to like be really, really good in the neutral one, but if he gets the hit, he gets that huge yeah. combo. Like, he can be that kind of player. But um, yeah. So. What do you reckon is the best way to play against me? Are you, are you just trying to like lame her out for the whole match and just play outputs here? Yeah. Um, Especially like your character, like probably for Karen. Out, yeah, you can like we just seen like Justin Warren like playing mana something like he just literally just tries to play as lame as possible and just outputs yeah, the whole match. You kind of do outfitsy her, but. You have to keep. You have to do everything really tight and perfect. So frame traps have to be really tight and perfect. Mm. So she can't like mash that Irish whip between your feet. Yeah, you yeah. Your frame traps are perfect, and then you're just anti-airing. You have to really be aware of everything. You have to uh, dodge the dodge the drop kick, punish her for doing the drop kick. Yeah. Like you have to like just keep her out like that. But when you do get your hits, go in because she has no wake up at all. There's no yeah. reason to not do a meaty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like her no um, yeah. EX Peach, or whatever. Is like there's no. It's, it's only armor, armor on the third frame. Yeah, yeah. She so if you meet it perfectly, yeah. you should be fine. Yeah. Her command grab isn't uh, isn't throwing invincible. Yeah. So you can just keep going in on her. So when you, you have to time her. everything perfectly on the on the yeah, wake yeah. up. Yeah. But most well, good players should have their frame kills. So when you do a knockdown, yeah. you do a certain move or a mm. certain special that kills the frame so that the timing for the normal is perfect. Okay. 
I've, yeah. got, I've got all those set up sorted for Karen. If I do, if I get a certain knockdown, she's got loads of certain knockdown. If I get a certain one, I do a certain move, certain special, and it's perfect frame. For and you're confident you're not going to drop that? No, never. Because no. especially in this game with input buffers, so while I'm doing that, while I'm move finishing, I'm already putting in that move, and I just press the button. Yeah, yeah. And it comes out. Right? Comes out first frame. Yeah. yeah. So those those kind of things. There's always slight variations, though. Like you can hit someone out the air, and the setup won't work quite as well because she, they're slightly higher. So now you have to. Yeah. So stuff like that always happens. Like, in general, there's variables there that you can't yeah. necessarily like. Um, yeah, you can't really. Perfect, yeah. In general, yeah. And, uh, whoa, that was a bit crazy. Feel like damage. Whoa. Oh my god. Raggle. Push, push thing. Mm. Standing medium. Is really good. So much rage. Oh. Ah, oh, so did, it. He didn't even want to do that. Yeah. But, uh, it worked out anyway. You tried to do a fireball and the DP came out because you held forward. You tried to do a fireball and the DP came out because you held forward. Happens. Happens in this four. Happens in this. It's just the motion, isn't it? Mm. Round one. You do forward and then quarter circle forward, you get DP motion. Stay right there. Oh, he's pretty strong. I'm seeing less birdies online recently. Uh, he's becoming less popular now. Yeah. At the start, he was all over the place. Yeah. People probably realised he isn't as free to play. Yeah, people are starting to like, react to the dolphin dives. <laughs> nice. I don't know if you could do that, mate. Bloody hard to react. Eight frames are lag, innit? Can't do that. <laughs> Can't react. If, if there's not eight frames are lag, I'll react to a jabs, crutch jabs. Because you guys were playing on a PC at Kakitop, weren't you? Yeah, it was the same. They had v on. Oh, okay, they left it on, yeah. so it's no different. Yeah. Despite some Chomping players, jab. Some players see, acting like it is. It wasn't really that different, no. Stormfest will be awesome. Let's go, Justin. Justin. Perilous still playing. Oh, it might be. Oh no, Perilous is. Mm, what? That's, I don't know. That's my sponsor, but I'm not playing right now. Anyway. Right there. You and Afi getting the uh, training in this week then before you head to Stormfest. Trying to get as much training as possible online. We're using. I'm training <laughs> nice. right now currently with a problem. I'm really, really training up. That is like autopilot, but birdie. When they get you in the dolphin dive, kind of like just if you get out quickly, just hold up. Yeah. Because they yeah. autopilot the command grab after. Yeah. Like or they do the dolphin dive again and yeah. you get up like I saw. Just, um, just hold up like, after the dolphin dive. They usually just autopilot. So um yeah, F uh, free one to boss Don Deku, which is Kim. Kim Sun. Kim Sun. Did you lose to um flawless? I didn't lose. Okay. Free one. Free one. Let him get away with a couple of jumps, but because yeah. he got bracket reset last week, didn't he? No, not flawless. Was it not flawless? Was the week Ryan, before that? Ryan got that. Oh, okay. We didn't go to that one. Yeah, yeah of course. Ryan got. was around for that. Flawless got the one before, I think. I think he did anyway. I haven't seen Ryan playing for ages. Oh, he improved, man. In is Frog he still playing Ken? Yeah, in Frogbite, he wasn't uh, as uh, as good as he is now. He's right. Way he's way above what he was there. He's playing that Ryan game now. This game's really read based and Ryan makes some insane reads sometimes. He just knows. Yeah, he seems to just know some stuff that. What the hell is playing? There we go. Is Ryan going to Stumfest? I don't think I saw him on the list. He was supposed to be going, but I don't think he's going anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, it is a shame. The more strong uh, UK representatives we can get, the better, to be honest. Yep. We have a. Uh, a whole load of Japanese to play. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, they've come out in droves. Yep. Same as last year. They literally come in a bunch, man. And this game is just so difficult to be so consistent with. Right. I'm just looking forward to seeing all those sort of, like, um, sets, on the, like, side sets, just people, like, playing. Like, they are, like, 50 PS4s going to Stumpfest. There's going to be a lot of setups for people uh, just to yeah. play games. Yeah, it's gonna There's going to be, like, crowds around all these Japanese players that people just, like, watching them play all the Europeans. It's gonna be insane still. Very insane. A solid play style. You have to you have to have, like just create a solid style which you can play against everyone which helps you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I was speaking to Afi about this uh, yesterday where I was saying that I think in my opinion a solid style would be um, play reactive first of all. So don't don't like initiate. Try and just play reactive. Kind of see what they're doing. Yeah, let them do. Feel it, feel yeah. out with the first round. Let, okay. them, let them do what they need to do. Unless, of course, you're playing a guy or a Dalsim where you have to go in. Or possibly even two to yeah. kind of like figure this out. Yeah, so 
play like let them play their game and stick to like medium pokes, like yeah. safe safish pokes. You don't want to get blown up by some random impulse. Yeah, yeah. that just doesn't stop jumping or whatnot. So, and then after he, if he if he stays on the ground, because if you do like like hard heavy pokes, yeah, and they just happen to jump, you're gonna you're gonna get to take a jump. Yeah, yeah. So like yeah. You gotta do something that's like relatively yeah. safe. Yeah, so yeah. that if, even if they do jump, you can still anti air, you can still back this or not. That's pretty smart. I mean, like, literally, you do only have like, what, three games? Or possibly even two to yeah. kind of like, figure this out? Yeah, so play, like, let them play their game and stick to like medium pokes, like yeah. safe, safish pokes. You don't want to get blown up by some random impulse. Yeah, yeah. Th that just doesn't stop jumping or whatnot, so. And then after you felt them out a bit, then you can <laughs> start. Uh, it's the classic uh, sort yeah. of extreme example, isn't it? The Gundy sort of like effect where you just. You're trying to play smart, and then someone's just going nuts, and then you yep. get beaten. It's like, what, what the hell happened here? Yeah, you're playing footsies on the ground, yeah. and trying to look for. And they're folks. DPing every single yep. time. And then yeah. they just jump, and then do command grab, randomly, all that stuff. Yeah, so um, that's what I speak to Afi about. Yeah, I was just playing for tournaments. It's just so stressful. I don't think I can. You know, just playing. I, I like to just play games for fun. I don't think I could do tournament style. All right. All right. Sonic, Nash is a top five in my opinion. This character just does what he wants. So what? Nash, Chun, Ryu, Mikali, and in Ken. All, in order, not him. In order for me, it is Chun Li currently. Yeah. Especially when everyone, when people start work, get the execution down and they, they start to it's do their legs, stuff, that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Everything optimal. Then yeah, Chun Li, then Ryu. This is in order, by the way. Chun Li, Ryu, Nakali, uh, Ken, and Nash. That's what he's called. I kind of wish I'd uh, spent more time playing Nakali now. The character just has everything. For yeah. No reason. No good reason for the everything. Whoa! What the hell? I cannot. I don't. Backdash. I, I'm not sure why he did that sweep. Yeah, it was just too risky. Like that block, that would have been it. Yeah, literally. I couldn't tell you why he did that, but he did. So and it worked. That's he not how you play in tournament. Well, that's a, that's that's how I think that's how, work, game, yeah. I think that's how the game should be played. But you can't really play like that in tournament now because it's first to three, yeah. first to two. Sorry, best of three. Especially if yeah. you got your eyes on first place yeah. and you're trying to get that um, fight money. Yeah, I think hard reads is definitely the way to play. But hard reads in a best of three on someone you don't know, I don't think so. Mm. Yeah. You do a sweep and they just happen to block it. Full punish, nah, mate. I'm not going for it. What do you reckon the chances are of a European winning Stunfest? Uh, I think the game. <laughs> The game right now is isn't like there's no completely different level. I think. Okay. I think they're we're all quite level together. Yeah. So I think even though there's a whole load of top Japanese heads going, we have a load of top European heads. Yeah. So you I reckon they can get blow up and yeah. pulls as much as anybody yeah, else? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Like even when you see in America, you see well, players and losers from other random players that you haven't heard of. Yeah, and you'd be like, what? Well, there's a few. Yeah, so like, like Justin seems to be like, like Justin is, yeah. is on another level. Yeah, yeah well, he's he's like completely different. But you yeah, see, like OG, yeah. other players, you might be like, whoa, Filipino chops and losers. Whoa, Snake that's in losers. That's mm. what you hear, like, because in SF4 that just wasn't happening. So yeah, there's there's, there's that where a player can go to lose really early on. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, this doesn't happen with Takedo, uh, infiltration, or Justin Wong. It's happened with Justin Wong once, I think. Do you reckon they're top three in the world right now? Yes. Yes. Those three are just right now. They're just based on based on based on tournaments and CPT. I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. They are just so consistent. It's insane. I'm not sure how they are. And Justin was consistent with my character without him being optimal. Yeah. So he wasn't even doing yeah, like yeah. the max damage stuff and the best things he could do in each situation. But he was just he was literally outplaying people. That's it. Just outplaying. So he wasn't even being optimal. But he was outplaying everybody. So he went through winners outplaying everyone. And that's what this game allows me. Mm, nice jump. It's a lot of damage. Do you watch uh, a lot of like Justin's sort of like games to kind of like see what he's doing? Definitely. I I, I watch um, well the main characters I can watch are just Mago and Justin. I yeah. watch them too, but if I see like a replay of a, a random Karen on a replay of um, one of their online plays, I always watch it. Yeah. Just to see if they do something that like I'm not a bit doing. of tech you're not aware yeah. of or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So even any, anything, nice. yeah. they do something that I'm not doing mm. that I might be able to implement. With Justin Wong, 
because I'm more optimal than him with Paris. I look at his his like fundamentals and his defensive options and stuff like because why like I'm thinking why like why would you why didn't you get thrown there why did you choose to jump back there yeah why did you back there must be a there? reason for it yeah. yeah so like I just look at his defensive options and his fundamentals and see how I can learn from that do you reckon Justin will eventually get to the point where he is doing optimal damage uh, apparently it's a Justin thing where he doesn't even play the character to their full potential, but he still wins anyway. Apparently he was doing it in third strike. Well, he's like purposely handicapping himself. No, he's not purposely doing it. That's just a Justin thing. Like in third strike, apparently he was doing that. He was playing Chun-Li, which is like top character. Yeah. But he wasn't doing like the, the max damage stuff and optimal stuff, but he was winning anyway. Right. <laughs> so it, I, I do believe he's like, There must be a reason like, well, he just doesn't want to put in that time on it or just doesn't oh, no, enjoy of it. Of course he'll put in time and enjoy it because yeah. he's winning. Yeah. But um, I just doesn't feel that he needs to, I guess. He just he just does like a, a safer he, more more of a safe safer options yeah because optimal you have to have the execution to do so yeah right? but he does he's doing more of a safer that's what it seems anyway the safer combos and stuff because like on his streams and stuff he's definitely he definitely knows the, the optimal combos yeah because I've seen him do them. but in tournament he just he does just doesn't want, he doesn't he doesn't want to drop them he doesn't want to like give him that he doesn't want to have yeah, that he, kind of like opportunity he he to wanna, mess up he wants to, um, guaranteed potential. damage yeah he wants to eliminate potential and get the no damage he knows he can do with his eyes closed how about you then I mean do you occasionally drop your um I drop a lot that is that is one of the main reasons I lose okay especially in SF4 in in, in um, with Cody, yeah. I used to drop so much until Problem told me, especially since he had more experience than me, he said, bro, just do the, the if you if you got them stunned and you can kill them with a neutral jump face, crouch face, criminal, I'll just, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. just do the single combo. Oh, I, nice. would, I wouldn't do it. I would do something like erratic, like the yeah. one frames and whatnot. You just want to go for that kind of like, you know, ultimate even, combo. It wasn't even that. It was just what I did. Yeah, it's just what I did. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't like deliberately doing it. It's just in my mind to do it. But then I had to, um, Consciously make the decision to yeah. go for the easy Only combo. Only go as hard as you need to to yeah. win. Yeah, okay. The easy combo fit kill. You know what I mean? So, but um, in this, yeah, I even though the combos aren't too hard in this, I still drop, and that's one of the main reasons that I. Oh lose. yeah, it was like one of Vegas like yeah. optimal combos I find really hard to pull off. Like standing heavy punch with claw on, uh, claw switch, crouching medium punch into uh, EX wall dive. I, I, I hate that combo. I wouldn't even say it's hard yeah. to do because I can do every all of these combos. Mm. I would just say, I. I don't know nerves. I don't know, but I'm I'm def I'll drop the simplest combo. Yeah, but it just happens. Yeah. Yeah. It just happens. Totally. And everyone's yeah. gonna drop one at some yeah. point. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, everyone drops them. Yeah. But but the, the level that I dropped them at is a bit it's like it was, it's become a thing. Like, from yeah, you, know. you don't want to do it on like the game winning combo. Yeah, you know what I mean. I haven't seen. I haven't. I never watched your um game against uh, Aliun to the side who was the final player to go into. Uh, yeah, the, it was two free. Was it? No, five four. It was, oh, five, it was literally five, went down yeah. the wire. So yeah. Uh, we did better than um, Problem did. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. If we were to watch that, yeah. Uh, I lost to jumps. Okay. You weren't anti airing. That's it. Because I was trying I to was, think of too I many was, other I things. I was beating her on the ground, which which Karen shouldn't be doing. Yeah. I was like winning on the ground, but I was I basically was jumping, and I wasn't anti airing. But if I anti aired half, even half of the jumps that you done, yeah, I probably would have won because the damage you would have taken for constantly jumping all the mix up why weren't you it? just because you were because I was so focused on the like the ground because okay. Chun Li has got all the air legs and the fork and yeah. all the buttons I was focused on that a lot but I'm definitely working on that now uh, he done three EX Bullhorns in a row the reason why he done that in V Trigger is because yeah. it has first frame armor and Visa took it was that it? I thought this was better first to three wasn't it? yeah hey, you want three one okay I'm going to jump on okay I'll take that alright cool who wants to jump on and commentate? See what people are saying in the chat. Sonic! What's up chat? I'm looking at the chat right now. How's the chat doing? What's going on Pax? Hello Logan Sana. How are you doing? I'm alright. So how are you feeling after the weekend? Um, I know exactly what I need to work on. And that is my ability to focus on the ground and the air. So why is that? Why does that seem so difficult in this game compared to four, which is what we learned how to play? Basically? I have, I have no idea. Because <laughs> but, but I, I'm not gonna lie. I know my anti air isn't the best in the world. Yeah. yeah but towards the end of Ultra, I, I felt competent at yeah. least. Yeah. In this game, I'm, I'm just watching everything. It's like I'm. You know what? It's like a TV show. I'm I just watching it. I like can't say. I can't. I can't say it's you or me. Yeah. There's, there's one person, only one person that does not let any jumps in at all. Infiltration. He's okay. the only one. 
that doesn't that that's that's ready for everything, absolutely everything. Because tequila has got a DP character, mm. and he's still getting jumped in on. I noticed that early doors, like yeah, in the even first he's, month. Even easier, in the Martin. first month, I was yeah. seeing a lot of yeah. the, the Japanese players, even using Ken and Ryu, yeah. they've got a DP super reliable in this game. Yep. Like, and they're still taking some jumps. And, and they're I'm, still blocking. And I don't, I don't want to hear eight frames of life because infiltration has got eight frames of life. But you're and not he's jumping. not using a DP. Either. You're not jumping at that guy. <laughs> if you jump, you're getting DP. knee, you're getting crouch medium, and he's, Sonic. He's, he's, he's answering with range specific anti airs as Loads well. Loads of different buttons, so I don't want to hear nothing about <laughs> no eight frames. If yeah, don't land plays, on if you land on that Sonic frames, boom, yeah. you're getting you're getting scythe. Scythe. You're, you're getting, getting super Yeah, you're like getting scythe. you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing about no eight frames because infiltration's <laughs> doing all of the anti airs. All of them mate. The hentai hairs. I just I, it's weird, like I, I is it just we're not used to Uh for me, um I'm I need to focus I'm trying to like focus on both like one one area right now. Yeah. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna anti air you, I'll try and focus on the air, and I'll just play footsies if you stand medium kick. Mm. But that means my footsies are weaker now. I'm trying to learn like Justin right now. Justin is just so good at both, being able to focus on both. <laughs> so if you jump at Justin now, because before he wasn't doing it as well, but if you jump at Justin now, you're getting DP now. Yeah, he'll, he'll do the XDP. But um, I'm still trying to um focus on both now. But against yeah against Ali Yoon, for example. I literally lost to the jumpings. Is, is Berserk using Alex? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Against Aliu, I literally lost to jumpings because on the ground I was winning. Mm. Despite not, not I shouldn't have, <coughs> despite not having to win, I shouldn't be winning with carrying on the ground against Chunli. But I was focused so much on the ground that I was able to win on the ground and play really at good the around. expense of yeah. being able to. But control the, the jumpings, yeah, I was, I was. I'm trying to watch a space on the screen, like just in front and above yeah. the opponent's character model That's head. what you do. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah. Well, is that where you look in general? That's where I'm trying to look in general because that way I'm I'm seeing stuff that happens in front of them, what yeah. they're putting out, and I also see if they jump. So I'm trying to train myself to do that. Yeah, um, I, I am. Um, that I minion actually, told me to do that, actually. Yeah, I actually I look know. directly at the character Yeah. when I'm playing. I don't look at my character. <laughs> I'm aware of where my character is. I look yeah. at... Um, just that character where they are. Mm. I know my range and I know where my character is. You should is. definitely be doing that anyway. Like yeah. Your point of reference should always be the opponent's character. That's, yeah. that's a really good uh, tip for any intermediate players that are yeah. watching right now. Yeah, that's what I do. I look, I look at the character. So. Like you should know what your character's doing, what your character. I'm, I'm, I'm like quite aware of my character's like ranges mm. and, and, and like things like that. So I don't really have to look um, at my character. I just need to know where you are yeah. and then I'll decide what button I need to press. Range, it, go, it, go, it does go back and forth, yeah, with my, with my two range that is such a light. <laughs> so effective from like full screen. <laughs> yeah, so I've, uh, I've also got a new anti air that I've, I've, I've implemented in my game now. What's that? Uh, you'll probably see it when I do it. I'm going to do it on screen. I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to bring it out on screen. Bring it out on screen. Saving it for Stunfest winners finals. It doesn't matter if you see it. If you jump, you're going to hit. It's really good because it covers an area where Karen can't really anti air you. Unless you press a button. But if you happen to not press a button, then she's... Oh, you're going to EX so uh, Tenko. Really. Nope. No. Better than that. Better than that. But yeah, hopefully I can uh, bring it out on stream. Bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell with these anti years in your mouth. So he's uh, going nuts with his Alex right now. People... 220, bro. People play Alex in mad ways, which I like. I he like that you know people are finding their way with the character. He can do, he can do so. He can actually do so. I think he's getting away with stuff as well at the moment. No, like people have not got an anti Alex strategy because he's quite kind of rare. Like, well, sorry, he was rare like a week and a half ago. Uh, he's now really he's appearing he, a lot more. He's one of them like uh, right, right. This is minus, but you can't punch it because of the range. Yeah, that, 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 the elbow yeah, slash like, is the best example of that, yeah. where it's minus three on the light one. But he's good got, luck. He's got good. Connecting. He's got good. Like that crouch medium punch is really good at keeping you at bay, yeah. keeping you away from him, out of his space. And he's and he has a good. So he's, he's in this game. A lot of people are talking about how this game is very preemptive and you know reactive is not yeah. as strong as preemptive. Alex is great at putting normals out that fill space that you want to get into. Yeah. And they're really difficult to whiff punish. Crouching yeah. medium punch, you can't yeah, whiff punch, punch that. You don't punch it's that. not you possible. You can sweep it. But on reaction, are, good sweep, luck. But sweeps are unsafe. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can sweep it, but sweeps are unsafe. I, can you sweep that on reaction? Yeah, I've, I've been sweeping it, but it's because sweeps generally have more range, right? That's true. But it's just that it's just unsafe. <laughs> it's just not something you really want to be doing. So. 
like comes out and goes. So yeah, yeah. he's really good at putting moves out which fill space that you want to get into. Yeah, like, he, he, and, he, and he's got good anti. So he, it's not like he's free on the, in the jumping. Yeah. So you really just have to a, a lot of the things that people resort to are neutral jumps to try and get around the slash and stuff. And again, he's not he's not like a true grappler. I think his command grab is there in a similar way in the um, Nakali's command grab is there in just a just to like the fear of the command grab and just to make you not comfortable just blocking because if all you had to do was block Alex, yeah, he would be way less scary. Yeah, like. same with Nakali. Exactly. So if Nakali didn't have the command grab, he would be fair. <laughs> But he does have a command grab. But of course Alex ain't got any wake up options, so... None, but to be honest, he does not need wake up options. This guy deletes a mechanic in the game. He deletes a mechanic. You see Vera Russell? Yeah. Useless against this guy when he's got v Bruh, Useless. you see? He, uh, yeah, the... He deletes that mechanic in the game. He deletes the mechanic. So, let's talk th Let's talk through a scenario in which that... Is, that there is, we go. Yeah. So that stand heavy kick. When he v, can v trigger cancels... One of his normals. Yep. And that the normal response is, okay, I'm going to V reverse the, the that best, and blow it up. The best one, the best example I can give, not stand anything, because that's minus four, right? mm. so people can actually punish them. But forward heavy punch is plus three. Yes. It's, it's similar to a me cut forward heavy punch. Yep, right? yep. So people, people want to use V reverse against that because that's plus three. You don't they want to want to take yeah. his plus three. He can press a button afterwards on three frames or four frames. It doesn't matter <laughs> if you have a three frame or four frame. And the command grab will beat. And the command, the EX and the light command grab are in range after. Yep. Which is 220. You're not taking 220. So you want to move. Or V-Russell, get him off. So you V-Russell that, and he, and he V-Trigger cancels? He's already V-Trigger, so he's in V-Trigger mode. What's he going to do to your V-Russell? If, he does, if he does forward heavy punch, and you V-Russell, and he's got V-Trigger, and he cancels it into V-Trigger, he's going to parry your V-Russell, and... Right, I'm still I'm taking that 220. You're taking 220. I'm sure you can, like, actually get a full combo. Oh, you no, because you you've got to take that forward hard punch again. To be honest, it'd be even better a parry the V-Russell. Yeah. He gets forward fist, so you can definitely get a full combo. You could probably get stand heavy kick, but yeah, you're, get, you're getting parried, and then you're getting 220 in your boat. Minimum. Minimum. Bag of stun as well. Bag of stun. And then you're in the same situation. You're in the corner as well because you got to take that forward hard punch again. To be honest, it'd be even better if we decide if he if he they done a combo like say stand heavy punch into the clothesline, yeah. then chop, because the chop's plus three on hit. Yeah. So that's the exact same as a clothesline. Yeah. So now you got to deal with the same stuff. So yeah. That's it's really it's really scary, and it does so much damage. I, I use Karen, man. Karen's got 950. Ooh, yeah, that was a nice confirm of the That's because he's scared well. of the, the command grip. Yeah. But yeah, Karen's got um 900 health, 9, 900 health, 900 stun as well, which is even more important. No, no, she's got 950. Oh, Cammy's 950. got 900, 900. Okay. She's pissed. She's really pissed. But Cammy, <coughs> yeah, um, Karen's got 900. If you block a DP against Cammy, it's Long for you against that. Any character is body in her health. But listen, Alex can finish you in like five seconds. This character can just finish you in five seconds. Because if he gets, say, for example, a crush counter forward fist, yeah. goes into medium chop, stay standing, then he gets standing medium punch, or if he gets command grab or whatever, and he gets a headbutt, the headbutt afterwards, yeah. the headbutt gets just your stun. He's, he, he's got a lot of potential, this character. He's got so much stuff to react to as well, like seven special moves. Yep. When you start seeing people mixing in that cancelled um, standing medium punch into the headbutt. When they start doing the, the, the stand cancel, the yeah. stand cancel. The standing yeah. stand medium punch into it's, the headbutt. It gets even worse. Horrible. Uh, problem. Can you grab problem for us, please? We might have Alex mirror matches. It's very scary, very scary indeed. Alex is a scary character. Very scary. He's uh, definitely gone up in my tier list. My tier list uh, I, yeah, I definitely want to see more players use him. Um, I want to see more elite level players use him as well. Are there any Japanese Alexes that you know of? Probably them secret ones. Yeah. None that I know of that are doing sick. To be honest, it's not the Alexes you have to worry about in Japan. First of all, it's the Kens and the Ryus, because mm. in fact, Kens everywhere. But Ryu is what you have to worry about in Japan. And if they decide to travel, Zangief, I don't want to hear that he's a low tier character. You need to see what these Japanese geese are doing. They are just... Oh, mate. The Japanese geese are just horrible. Scary. There's no way I want to play them. I want to see Gachikun travel as well. Oh, he's Rashid. Yeah, because yeah, everyone's... Oh, Rashid's rubbish. Yeah, mate. All right. Eat, eat yeah. some of these. Everyone confirmed. says geese rubbish. I'm telling you, you need to watch some of the replays. 
some of them YouTube videos, some of these geese are just doing some terrible stuff. What we don't realise in the West is a lot of those guys are meeting up at uh, Esports Square, which is their new LAN cafe thing that they've got. Yep. Oh, and look. they've got like 100 odd people. It seems Hassan, or Hassan, I don't, I'm not sure how you say your name, knows about what we're talking about. Hotoru and Itazan are the geese, the two specialist geese right now. Mm. And so you, you put me onto Hotaru earlier. Oh, mate, this is disgusting. He's destroying Chan Lee. I know that Itizan was bodying everybody at Esports Square, like running through everybody. I don't think he lost a set um, in the last time he went down there. Yeah. So. This is uh, quite a difficult matchup for Alex, apparently. How would we know? Oh, oh we've been playing. I like he that backdash. He does nice have off. ways away around um, fireballs. Yep. He also has a projectile hitbox on his chop and slash, mm -hmm. so he can like slash projectiles away and stuff like that. It's kind of difficult to make work, but yes, definitely. Yep. yep. And please, get, Ooh, we got shimmy. get your uh, meaties on point when you're playing this character. Yeah. Back, whoa, what happened there, sir? Nice mix chop. Yeah, whoa, don't. you can't jump, you can't neutral jump, sir. Ooh. And that was what I was talking about, back throw. Sir, if you guys do not know, back throw builds you the most meter in this game. So if you can kill after a stun with a back throw, do so. You get a lot. You get a lot of meter. It's almost like a, it's like unless like a, unless a, you're a quarter or a third. third. You can do heavy. Yes, we do. No, it does more than that. Does it? Yeah, I think it does more than that. I think it does a third of your bar or a quarter. It does a bloody lot, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> look, look at that. But that's, there's no reason to not do that. He's holding forward on the stick and just mashing yeah. that heavy button. There's literally no reason to not do that. You better be reversal, basically. Be reversal and get out. Otherwise, you're getting licked, bro. You're getting there. You're getting a... Ooh, scary. Oh. Whoa, 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 sir. Back it up. Oh, uh. he didn't want that. He wanted a DP. He was ready for that. Oh, that could have been a super and that would have been game. I think Problem is aware that he wants to get super. That kind of was a bit super. Problem is careful with him jumps. Ooh. Oh, he's got him. It's not dead, but that is really close. I like that. He's got him, it's not dead, but it's really close. He what? <laughs> Are you serious? Some I mean, I've got a camera on Problem like Alex, Alex, right right now. Karen, but bloody hell, mate. What the hell? Uh, look at this. Look him looking around all sheepish. Let me get my tea. Let me get my tea. What is going on here? <laughs> Why the hell did that kill him, man? He's not, he's not playing Karen or Kami. What the? <laughs> what the hell, man? Uh, Be ready. That does 200 stun, sir. Be ready. He can actually backdash and command grab. Command grab that, yes. He better be ready. How? Minus uh, four on block the chop. Not many characters can do anything about it. Oh, sir. You gotta sit still, sir. You gotta sit still, sir. Why don't you just take a seat? I'm all warmed up, sir. You gotta sit still. You can't, you can't, you can't move when I'm when I'm trying to clothesline you, sir. <laughs> Whoa! He did dash forward, stun heavy punch, but he didn't cancel it, which means it was random. Good punish, minus six on the overhead, which he deserves to be. The chop is minus four. Whoa! That is actually skank. Alex can't be reverse swarm. He's a uh, ex knife. Ex moon salt. Sorry. Back it up. Whoa, sit still, sir. I've told you already. Please, sit still, sir. Oh, he's scared. Oh, no, he doesn't have the invincibility. He went for it. He went for the DP there. EXDP to punish that. But it doesn't wow, have the invincibility. Wow, as well. Yeah. No, that a load. What the hell? He did, he did have the right read, but it just doesn't work, unfortunately. His DP doesn't have... Uh, I'm not used to the critical art scaling movement. yet in this game. 50% mate, I love it. Do the longest combo you can after stun and then do your critical guard. Every little helps. It literally does. And I'm sure Alex cannot do anything about that side. Good block. A lot of people automatically assume that it's going to Got be behind side, you. Yeah. Oh, he didn't cancel. No! Oh. He's all warmed up. Good night. He's all warmed up. Good sir, man. you gotta sit still, please. When I'm swinging my arms, just be a Russell, please, sir. You gotta sit still, sir. <coughs> Can we 
You got me. Like, so you got you got to respect Alex's frames. Like you can't. Come on, man. Like you can't just be mashing like jump and back dashing buttons. Like this is why it's really important to know other frame characters' data. setups. You have to not just frame data. Like not just like I'm gonna open the app. You need to know what their frame advantage is after their knockdowns, after their B and Bs. This that's that's what matchup things are gonna match up. Matchups will be about. You have to know. If you don't like frame data, I'm very sorry, you're but you're gonna bullied. need to learn it in this game because. You need to know when you can and cannot press yeah, buttons. You have to know. Especially for in a game with crush counters. Yep. And but oh, we got mirrors. No, he doesn't play mirrors. He doesn't play mirrors. Yeah, there's no laws here. He can change character if he likes. Exactly, it's not a tournament. But, um, yeah, matchups. With matchups, you have to um, in this game, you have to know their knockdowns and know if they're at a better advantage for being if you neutral wake up. Or if you back roll, you know? Especially against characters like Alex or Laura and... Yep. You know. Laura and uh, Mika, you can expose them for just not getting up quickly. Because they decide they want to do an EX command grab on your quick quick rise. And then they get body. You know what I'm saying? So now he's gone to throw fireballs with his lame-ass guy. And he can charge down while he is doing that V-skill. Yeah. So when he does it... It's not a free jumping like a Sonic Boom. You can get flash it. Oh look, the tables are re reversed now. What is the reason for his quick charge after throwing a Sonic Boom as well? What what what, what is the reason he has it? Yeah, because he gets a quicker charge when he throws Sonic Boom. You know if you do like instant Sonic Boom and charge down. The charge oh yeah. Quicker for the flash kick. Yeah, well, I reason. guess the reason for that is not in general though. That's not a normal rule, yeah. but like when he's throwing a Sonic Boom. I'd say the reason for that is. Is because it's something that has more recovery. Mm. If you actually keep someone out for the whole, if you keep someone out for the whole game in this, your your zoning is OP because it's really hard to it's, keep someone out for the whole game. Not look, he's just jumping. Look, yeah, he hasn't. Look, he, he's not like thinking. Why he's just jumping. Out flash kick. Yeah, he done it too early. But he's literally just jumping. So if I was me, I would just be like, all right, cool. You want to jump? I'm just gonna wait. To jump. Do you see any girls using his like crab walk? Yep. Yes, I do indeed. That is so. That would be so annoying if you thrown about ten Sonic moves and they blocked it, and yeah. you crab walk on full screen. Like you just want to jump. He's just jumping. Like he just wants to. It's not even logical to jump because it's not like he can throw a Sonic boom whilst he's walking forward either. Yeah. Oh, oh risked it all. Oh. I don't know why he did that. He was fully waiting for that, but you know, impatience. And as, it just shows you as, as if Alex can't walk. I think in this match, Alex can walk Guile to the corner. Guile's Sonic Boom pushbacks are not good enough to like put you off from walking forward and blocking. Yeah, I'm not sh uh Back fist is obviously a, an option, but... Ooh, nice! Good damage. That stun is... Oh, yeah, good, good night. And the damage he's going to do here. Wait, wait, wait. Am I seeing this correctly? Does he... Does he get V gauge for doing all warmed up and then counter hit? Yeah. That is bullshit, mate. Language. Sorry. But yeah, Sorry. that's his V skill, right? And then. That is insane. That's the whole point of it. He doesn't, Whoa. He doesn't get it for doing all warmed up. He only gets it if he lands a counter hit. Wow, oh, he still gets the V trigger. V gauge. That's terrible. I mean, that's. Well, that is terrible. And of course, he builds uh, V gauge back as well. Well, obviously it has to be a crush counter, doesn't it? It can't just be any, any hit. And he builds uh, V gauge back as well when he's in V trigger for doing the parry as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is gassed. This guy just done a sweep, which is like minus twelve ex flash kick. Mm. Why are you not punishing something that's minus twelve? He's in his head. He's not ready. He's not ST. Uh, so who's on now? Now let's have one more set. What's the time? This is an ST. What is going on? It's only ten o'clock. Yeah, it's only ten o'clock. Does it? Oh, okay. Do you want to analyze this amazing Haitani and Momochi set with me? Because it was sick. It Let's was go. Sick yeah, of course. I, I watched that, man. Let's get it on. That set was long as well, like. Yeah, it was a reset. But it, weren't, it weren't that long, to be honest with you. You know what happens, like, when you go hard, going hard and all that, and then you reset it, then you just get bodied in the, in the, in the, in the <laughs> in next a, set. In a I hate that. 
Are you it gonna... was very stressful as well because you'll see it anyway. Like the number of set points he had to defend in the yep. first set was mad. Listen, I put Nakali in top three for a reason. Character got everything. <laughs> of of stand jabs, this guy's killing me when he's got like bit borderline half health. Wake up jab V trigger into how much damage? But borderline fifty percent. I swear. I swear to you. <laughs> okay, you got the wrong camera on display, by the way. But uh, here we go. So uh, Mamochi is in losers bracket. Yep. Uh, Whoa, wow, just starting off with DPs. He probably knows that high Tani knows that's minus four. And if you don't punish properly, that is what happens. That uh, wasn't a combo, but it worked anyway. You're seeing Momochi abuse that jump in with the air tattoo yep. ambiguousness as well. And it's going to change. Stun's going to go down. Look at the health. Obviously, that was a crush counter, but still. And there we go. We just saw a jump in there from Momochi, who is very good. And he didn't anti it just because, for some reason, it's quite difficult in this game. And he gets conversion, nice, nice conversion. This character just does so much damage. Nice jump back, option select, but he still got yeah. caught. That OS jump back didn't actually need to be done there. In general, you do that when you're ex you're looking for a hit, mm. and you wait for the hit, and then you do it. If the hit doesn't come, it's just gonna come out for you. Whoa, he's doing stand heavy kicks there, really? And that uh, combo he done into the V skill, was just to build bar. Build engage. I was talking about a little bit earlier on the show as well. A lot of Nakalis now are ending their combos with the V skill to yep. get that V trigger up as early as possible because Nakali is even better than he is normally in, wow. uh, in V trigger. And right now, this is a mauling. That, that was an unfortunate situation. He did have the correct reads, but because of the spacing, everything whiffed. First game to Haitani. Picking him up by his <laughs> neck, murking him already. So this is uh, a ranking event. It was uh, in Melbourne this weekend. Yeah, a lot of people didn't watch it because of the time difference. Oh, it was mad o'clock. Yeah. Nice confirm there from Momochi. Yeah, he's very good at that. And straight DP, I suppose it's and not too bad. Went meaty throw, yeah. so... And look, he's just throwing out there. The active frames of that move allows you to throw it out there because if they make the mistake, that is what happens. Overhead, minus four on block, crush counterable. Does Especially so if damage. your spacing's on point as well. It's a really yeah. effective move against Ken because Ken's normal was a pretty stubby apart yeah. from his hard kick. And that was a good crouch medium punch. Look at the damage. It's not that much. It's like 220. Mate, that's a lot of damage, mate. And he's killed him. He's done him. Nice. Took Great him out. use of the uh, the bar as well. Needed to be done. Yeah. That is something I need to work on as well. Using my super bar. I either. think it's I think it's worth just getting the kill. Like whatever it costs. Oh, oh get the, the kill, kill definitely. But I mean just in general because. You build it so quickly, like oh, yeah, you, you don't get realize. Oh yeah, you start around. Yeah, blow that. Yeah, you don't. Away. You don't even realize, like you, in the game, like the first round, yeah. both of you have super by the end of it. Yeah. So you can actually use super in the first round. Good nice hit confirm. Getting his and on point as well. It blows yep. through that. Not a true just, stream. Just, just like a warning. It won't stop high tiny, and it's not worth doing it consistently because no, if he doesn't come, it, yeah, exactly. you're gonna take a whole load of damage and borderline all of Nakali's moves. Into cancelled into V trigger plus. Yeah. You can't really do anything. And in this mode, he's just insanely strong. Look, he's got half health and he's got V trigger already. Oh, Whoa, he walked sick. under? That was sick, yeah. That was really was. And this is just so scary. Look. There you go. And that was after jab tick throws. Yeah. So that means he's getting guaranteed situations there. And this time he went to a heavy. Well, that's the cool thing about Nakali. He can cover any he can cover those situations anyway with this crash hard punch. So good, so good, Nakali. He actually could have juggled uh, that fireball into super, the one that he landed on, but it's a very difficult thing to do. Whoa, it all corrected, oh. and that is very unfortunate. Look at the damage he took. Well, he's just going in with the DPs, man. Going back to it, he's not being put off. Yeah, he's just going in with the DPs, and I don't like that jump into the corner. A lot of players that would have hit in front if he'd have stayed where he was, um, which is you know the the ambiguous. Oh, he's not he's not being put off. Yeah. And he's two nil down. Yeah. So in the corner, if yep. they stay where they're put, that jump fierce hits in front, and the cross oh, okay. up tattoo crosses oh, up okay. and you can so combo you can off jump of it. Up, but if you can walk out, of it, it's not. <laughs> you great, can, it's, so. it's not. It's not. You can oh, walk but, out of it. Okay. But it's like it's one of them you're, things. You're, where you're, you're hoping they just, that the it's, fear. Of it's his version of like a command grab character dashing up and meeting you when you yeah. know they can't actually do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his version of that. Even worse. He's relying on the fear. <laughs> yes, the exactly. jumping in general. That is a plus. I'm not sure. Well, actually, that makes sense to why he would do that, because they generally press buttons after a heavy, uh, heavy. Um, Nakali, a character who has also got really good corner carry on his combos. Yep. 
And his throw as well since he's so far across the screen. It's actually 2-0 right now. He's actually getting bodied. Yeah, so watch. From now, I think uh, Haitani's going to win this round. Yeah, how did he turn it around? What, what, what did he he's do? He's 2-0 down and he defends about four you know, or five match points. You know, I think I think he, he just kind of stops doing the DPs now. And he kind of just does more. He's trying to play more solid now. Less DPs. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. And that is a really good option. Could he have got more there? Uh, he could have done light DP. Then heavy DP? That's what I was thinking. Whoa. If the Carly's not dashing around, generally he, he can be surprised. Because the Carly's yeah. usually one that surprises you with the trigger. So if you can. Nice air to air. Yeah. He's minus there, that's why he didn't press a button and why Haitani pressed his button. That's important to recognize visually as well when you yeah. have air to air situations, whether you're a plus or minus when you land. Yeah. If you, you jump forward and them. hit them out of the air with a jump forward move, you're, you're minus. Even if you neutral jump, you're yeah. minus. Well, sweet. They're playing on hard. Well, Haitani's definitely playing on hard reads because he has, what, these <laughs> three games? Yeah. So he's definitely on match point right now. I'm playing on hard reads right now because he can risk it. Momochi's trying to play a bit more solid right now. And the jump worked for him. Look at the damage. Sick. Look at the damage. That was a lot of heavy buttons in that combo. No anti air there. And again. Yeah, he's he's really he's really trying to just play it really safe here. Yeah. Because he just doesn't wanna That is so unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. And that's the problem, playing safe against Nikali. He's always got the threat of that grab, yeah, grab. playing safe against Kamago characters just doesn't really work. Mm. You have to throw in a a random a bit You need to make element. them as afraid of your DP as you're afraid of their command grab. I don't think that would be the case just because of the crush counter mechanic. Too much too much reward for blocking. Nice throw, he's going this is match point Nakali tournament point now. So he really has to play solid here. And that's I like that anti air jab yeah. and then dashing out of the corner. That was very well done. So difficult to so difficult to just remain composed. The jumps are really well placed. He actually hit confirm that. And that should not work, but it did. And that's that's something that I like. Oh, the jump over throw in the yeah. corner and the stun. The stun was good, but that's something that I like to do. Like, or it should be done, where you just throw in something that shouldn't be working. But yes. you throw it in anyway. Like, that neutral jump shouldn't work. That's what Ken's all about, yeah. to be honest with you. Like, you I'm know, just you saying in you general. Hit. No, it, yeah. in, in general, but Ken's, Ken's like game is very fundamentally built around stuff that shouldn't maybe work. one thing around that don't that shouldn't work it doesn't make sense in terms of counting frames and all that yeah, stuff but, but it does. works yeah. and he gets you know 30% damage off of it <coughs> and setups he tried to punish that uh, overhead it's minus 4 minus but it's just four, so yeah. it's so difficult oh to punish. that was that was such a nice that's like one of the first times he's actually been shimmy like cuz these these guys just don't seem to get shimmy they just seem to not tick they just prefer to jump away or match they're, a jump. They're taking or OS jumping, yeah. Yeah. Overhead is just, it's just so good and it does, a, I think, 100 damage? And the fact that it's a crush counter is a yeah, like liberty it, as well. Yeah, like, he's got about 10 crush counters this character. And That's he's going nice. on a rampage again. Didn't hit confirm the stand medium punch. And he's really looking for that crush medium punch to hit now. He's going to be fishing for that crouch and medium punch into the V-Trigger. Oh, oh that and was that was the priority good. system there. That, that's why that worked for him. Yeah, oh, there he you tried go. to shimmy him again, yep. but he backed that out of it. It was really clever. He's either pressing buttons or he's going to just jump out of there. He's not going to take the shimmy. And yeah, you're seeing another tournament point for yep. Haitani. So this is a lot of pressure, a lot of mental pressure on Momochi Listen, to Momochi defend. Momochi has been here a million times on a bigger stage. It's, it definitely is pressure, but nothing Momochi's not used to. So as you see, he's done a lot less DPs on Wake Up. Yeah. He's he's he or even just in pressure strings yeah. in general. He was betting more on that uh, at the start of the, but now he's doing a lot less. You have to throw one in at a time. Can't let him get nice away with too much. Nice on that EX tattoo there gets the frame nice advantage. Nice dash forward. On block, I think Haitani is almost almost playing by frames, and he missed his DP there. Yeah, he he's almost playing on frames because on block with stand heavy punch, stand heavy kick, he seems to be doing nothing. And there you see him again. The jump, jump over. Yeah. Nice. Count hit. Wasn't scared of the DP there. <coughs> the DP is a very risky option in those situations as well because if you do the cross up tattoo, the DP will whiff. Yes. And then you're eating crush counter damage, which you don't want to take off Ken. Oh, and he went for one. DP. And Haitani is the one who will use his meter straight away. As soon as he gets a chance, he's using it because he's going to he get it. And he cleverly used the, the V school combo as well. Doesn't do as much damage into yeah, the, into but the super, but. Yeah. He's already got a bar. Yep. 
and he's taken basically no damage. I like that setup. That is a guaranteed meat And there setup. you see he's got full V trigger without even taking 50%. There's another, there's another neutral jump that shouldn't be working. Oh, and he gets empty jump yeah. low. That and was a really he, clever situation. Yeah. Now, he, now he's going to try and play calm. Yeah. He's definitely trying to do a, a stand jab. That's what I like that there as well. He just said, forget the hit. I'm just going to go into V trigger now. See if I can win. I'm watching ready though. And it's too well, deep. Ken didn't really have any way to punish it from in that situation. Yeah, um, no. There are a few frames of recovery on it. It's not instant like uh, other characters' V trigger, but yeah. Ken didn't have critical art or anything. He couldn't really do anything there. Two, so. two. He brought it back, and the way he's done it is uh, he's done a lot less wake up DPS. That's uh, that's one of the main reasons. But he's also doing a lot of things that shouldn't work but are working, like the neutral he's jump. He's getting a lot of jump-ins as well. A lot of jump-ins. Titani's very yeah. He's missing a lot of jump-ins. Really uh, good with punish. I'm just standing here. Very rarely DP in the anti-air, especially when he's in the corner. Yep. He's playing really patient, and that's changed. He's, he's gone more for solid as opposed to a bit crazy. As reliable as Nakali's uh, light punches as the anti-air as well. You don't yeah. want to risk with the priority system because he's jumping in with uh, oh nice that crush yeah. countered and uh, there's one DP that you have to throw in punish good yeah. punish bad, he tried to do a jab a there and he missed it yeah. that stand like kick there is also for a meaty setup it works on the throws after the tactic or he eating gets frames. the heavy. Yeah. yeah you're eating frames 15 frames it's and that jump in was dash. not safe Haitani may have tried to back dash there I'm not sure he looked airborne yeah <coughs> so now it's reset point for Momochi he's brought this back heavily ridiculous how he's brought this back actually yes as I was saying about that standing light punch you don't really want to risk it when he's jumping in with the heavies um, uh, on Ken it might be a risk yeah. on, a lot, on most characters it works fine there yeah. we go he just missed it he tried to do it but Ken did a tattoo there yeah. and he missed Ken's air tattoo is really good I really like how Momochi is not really throwing out any normals yeah. preemptively. He's, he's trying to, he's just trying to let him play his game. Yeah, he's getting and the normal, he's getting the knockdown. He's just going for his meaty pressure. He wakes up, wastes the V trigger. Wow, lovely stuff. Overhead's coming. One more hit. Nope, no. that was. He, he just, he's playing extra safe. He's, yes. All he did there was play reactive. <laughs> he let him do what he needs to do, yeah. and then he played reactive. He let him do stand heavy kick, and then he just whiff punish with stand medium kick. Home. Yeah. He just jumped over the um the side walls, even if it wasn't like. A hit, he just jumped over, gained, yep. gained space from it. Anti air and DPs. A lot of it was just very risk free. Yeah, he just. High Tardy, he made High Tardy take all the risk. And High Tardy didn't have to. Mm. But because he's in a situation where I really want to win, I really want to win, I really want to win, he kind of took all the risk. So there. that's reset now. Um, yep. High Tardy having problems dealing with those jump ins. Yeah, the jumping deals have problems with. He has He's not. He's not even attempting to do stand jab. It's a very specific range yeah. that he's jumping at as well. Because yeah. you know, if Ken does go for the for the air tattoo, when we saw, um, I think Ata was rinsing it like against, last uh, week go against Goichi. Goichi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good air tattoo, but uh, especially if you're anti air yeah. with a light punch, which has only got like two active frames. If you can change your timings. Yeah. So what does he change now? Well, there we go. There's one <laughs> That's thing. one of them. DP. He DPs now. He seems right now to be a lot, a lot more composed, and he's, he's taking his time a bit more. Yeah. DPing from crouching is a, a very good answer to those ambiguous yep. jumpings from Ken. Um, here we go. He's in the corner already, Nomochi, though. Nomochi playing very safe here. He's going for a lot more blocks. He's preemptively tick throwing twice in a row there. Yep. And that's probably conditioning him to to tech after the after the jab. Yep. He's got V trigger. There was a jab there, but it traded, unfortunately. So he, he, he now because he's got lower health, he just thinks he's going to activate V trigger now just to get the. Nice. The he stands him up in. with a medium kick, gets a confirmation. Oh, but he wakes up with yep. a DP. Oh, he missed oh, it. Oh, what was that? He, uh, I'm not sure what that was. I don't know been. what that was because that didn't make sense to me. He might have gone for um, critical art, possibly, yeah. and some some reason it came out backwards. Momochi was probably thinking there to use the super possibly to that, yeah, chip, but uh, he was waiting for Nakali to have a it little. It might have even out. it might have even juggled after the DP and V trigger. Oh, possibly, yeah. Nice back medium punch. If a Ken is supposed to is going to mash anything, he might as well do back medium punch. It's four frames and so is his crouching light punch. So the priority system will work in your favor. You're going to mash something. That was ridiculous. That was a great jump in. That was on reaction. Yeah. You, you saw that he saw that size move, so that means he's waiting for that. Maybe Haitani's taking note of that now. Visual visual key is the arms going up in the air. Yep, maybe Haitani's taking note of that now. Oh, and Haitani is... 
he, you think Haitani is the one who's just putting out normals yeah, he's into empty space? And see it? No! And that is why <laughs> the tattoo is so good. Mm. But yeah, Haitani's banking right now on um, Momochi running into things. Yes. So if he dashes into that, yeah. if he's he trying to play runs into it specifically, yeah. he's going to get crush countered by Right that now, party. he's trying to play preemptive, which is what everyone thinks yeah. this game's about. And it's killing him. So Momochi right now is playing how he played in SF4, where he's really playing reactive and waiting. That was a punish. He could punish that one. Bro. Nice, and he was nice, ready yeah. there for the neutral jump after the whiff throw. That is guaranteed. I, I got to tell you, from here, I actually thought Mochi would win it because the way he was playing was ridiculous. Good, uh, good DP from Haitani. That DP got him all of this. He did go into super. Stun though. Yeah, he's stunned. So now yeah. he's gonna kill him. And that Dang. is something I've noticed that they really just don't take as much. <laughs> like mid screen. They tend to just not tech as much. I'm talking about uh, the Japanese players. Yeah. They just tend to not tech. They'd rather just take the throw. There's such a huge risk involved yeah. in teching in this game, though. Um, Especially against these two characters. Yeah. So I'm seeing from uh, Momochi right now to deal with uh, the tick throws is uh, just walk back. Yeah. I'm not really seeing walk back. He's not even trying to do that to deal with uh, Nakali's tick throws because you can uh, walk back out of the tick throws. And I think he's uh, Haitani now changed from V skill. To light stomp. I think he's doing the light stomp now. Wow, that was insane range to do it. He's changed from going to for the V skill to do yeah. more things like light stomp. He wants that damage. Yeah. That back uh, that sweep wasn't as random as it looked. Uh Nikali's minus four off the stand heavy kick. Yeah. So uh, anything that's like seven, eight frames roughly is pretty good to use. Um, sweep's pretty fast as well. Yeah, so it's good to use after to beat everybody that he presses afterwards. And he's plus after that, but that's that's one of the hard reasons I was talking about. Even though he's plus, that didn't combo. No, but he got caught holding up. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, even though it's plus, the hard read he went for with the crouch really kick tattoo to get him uh, get himself out. Uh, so Hatani takes that game now. Nice. He's throwing out that stubby crouch and punch. It's stubby. He goes nowhere, but that means you can buffer it safely. Because if you run into it. Uh, the move's coming out and that's unfortunate he did a and that is a good 30% yep. for one bar and it had to come and eventually yeah it was going to come eventually and Haitani scouted it out he didn't right even now, have to do that right now Haitani's, pre Haitani's pressure is working and he's forcing um, Omochi to use something to get him yeah, yeah, I would like to see him use V-reversal a bit more definitely V-reversal I know v -re I know Ken's in general like to hold on to that V yeah, trigger because to, he's so it. strong. Yeah. Like he has got such tremendous burst damage potential when he's got that V yep. trigger. But you know, you can't end up in the corner against these pressure characters like Nakali. You need yeah. to You need to burn V V or, or know when you can uh, press buttons yes. and do so. Yeah. Do you press the buttons to get up there and there there's one reversal. Finally. But he got DP for yep. his um, obviously he knows he's plus two after that V yep. reversal. He can press a button. He probably did press a button. And now it's just looking all all uh and that was that was a bit late in the in the day to be trying that. Yeah. The stand light kick wasn't working. No. So he tried the DP but when you're two games down in the it's not something I'll be trying. So um and you're seeing Mamochi playing desperate yeah. hard reads rather than the reactive start. Yeah, he's gone. Earlier. He's gone a bit more desperate now. But what? <laughs> well, I think what's killed Mochi the most are the throws. Mm. He just hasn't been able to tech. He just hasn't even decided to tech or even jump away or even walk back. He's just taking the throws. And Super will be coming anytime. Whoa! Never mind what I just said. DP had to come eventually. And that's why that EX command grab is yeah. so strong when yeah. he's got the super you're thinking about getting tagged and by he's that. he's dead. The, this, this EX slash thing does not care about scaling. Yeah, you're gone. Yeah. And that was a very <laughs> rapid second set. Because of the 2-0 two, two no up yeah. he was, he just de like he got DP'd on his yeah. wake up. Moji did DP and he just did it back because yeah. now he's two games up. So now I can do it back now. I yeah. can take those risks. I'm two games up. Because he stopped doing it um, when, he was, when it was even and when it was close mm. to lose lo resets. So two games up I'm just going to do it now so now it's up to you to go back to your solid style but Mochi kind of lost it now he was a bit more desperate again so he started to go for more ragged reads DPs um, and you know, I, think, I think it was taking too many throws yeah I you mean know. especially the forward throws when you're mid screen you take two of those you're in the corner yeah you, you can even walk back just hold back or back dash you have to go for those hard defensive reads because mm. it's rare that he does a tick 
into a cut, a crush can, you know? Yes. So if you do do a backdash... It's very difficult yeah. as well. Ken's very similar to Nakali in that sense in that doing a, doing a light attack yep. into one of his crush counter buttons, there's such a big gap. Yeah, it's a huge gap. That, like, it's you're really putting yourself at yeah. risk at, at someone else pressing buttons on yeah. you. So, you know, your jab's at, like, plus two, probably, I'd imagine, from Nakali. I know yeah, Ken's most jab's plus, plus two, two, plus three, maybe. To yeah. get a crush counter, you're swinging that nine-frame yeah. fierce. It's, it's like a 12-frame frame yeah, hard 12 kick, frame, yeah. like... Do you know what I mean? Like, so you really have to have them yeah. scared to actually make that work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Realistically, you know, Ken's a bit better because he can whiff punish. He can shimmy you with that hard punch and react to your throw and yeah, yeah, he or something whatever. coming out and run, run on you. But with Nakali, it's you know, it's gonna be tick throw. Yeah, I, I, or, I, was or tick, tick, tick. I was surprised he didn't even like attempt to go for like a backdash for a yeah. jump back. Yeah, I mean like, we saw Haitani backdash in a couple of situations. Yeah, you have to. You have Notably, to go for it, he yeah. was backdashing after the V trigger yeah. uh, activations on block as yeah, well. Yeah, when he's plus, like yeah. that shouldn't really work. But Just backdashing anyway, out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, again, he's not really going to go for crush counter normals after that. If no, you're, you're not, not going to go for crush counter normal after yeah. you've got your V-trigger. You're yeah, not going to have it. Exactly. Yet. So you're going to be going for like a, you, a medium punch yeah, or something like that. Do, you get, might get tagged by it. If you do, that's a really hard read for you. <laughs> hmm. Generally, you go for throw the safe medium that you yep. know works. Yeah, if they press exactly. a jab. Exactly. But yeah, so. they have to start doing that more, like back dashes in situations, jump backs. It's just good defensive options that people don't use because they don't want to get crush counter like so badly, they don't want crush counter. It's a really interesting yeah. time right now in terms of how everything's fitting together at the competitive level because we saw, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, but Momochi defeating Infiltration, yep. uh, SF Crash in Korea. If you haven't been watching uh, the SF Crash series in Korea, you really need to be checking out some of those videos on YouTube because there's yeah. some incredible sets going on there as well. But Momochi defeated Infiltration yeah. uh, last Quite week. With frozen things like that in yeah. the corner, yeah. Now Momochi loses to Haitani and it seems to be very, you know. I think defensive options definitely need to be like the hard reads in this game need to be mostly done on defense. Yeah. So like, going for crouch, medium things, you think they're gonna shimmy or sweep, backdashing, especially backdashing. Backdashing yeah. is really good because they only really get crush countered by, they only really get hurt by crush counts. Yeah. Generally, if they if you backdash a medium or something, you can get reset out the air and yeah. counter it, all right, it's fine. But crush counters, and then they'll have to get the airborne crush counter combos. Yeah. Which a lot of characters don't which even Which you're have. not even looking for. Yeah. If you're going, f if you're fishing yeah. for the crush counter, yeah. mentally it's going to be very difficult the, to yeah. react. A lot of characters, like Karen, for example, her mm. crush counter, unless it's the crouch fierce, which launches you anyway. Yeah. Her stand heavy crush counter, she can't get anything airborne unless she re triggers. So. What's your crash fish on block, by the way? Just what, raw? Yeah. I think it's minus. Yeah, so same with Ken. Realistically, you're not gonna go for Crouch Fierce yeah. in those situations, sure. anyways. Unless I'm, I'll, if I'll be looking for it and already cancel it into the dash anyway. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's not something you really do. But yeah, those kind of like defensive reads, like back dashing and jumping back, all that stuff. That needs to be, that needs to be where most of the hard reads are. And then you can do the sweep for the shimmies if you think they're gonna shimmy sweep, mashing jab at certain times. That's what. Or you might do. even have you know like you know Nakali or Ken are both great examples of. Wake up, crouch, a medium kick yeah. into a fireball or stomp, yeah. and if they try and shimmy you, then it's good night for them. We got a uh, flawless Deku versus Problem X. Okay, going to be a good match. Looking forward to some more Alex from Problem. Yep. Dash up. Oh, he respected his wake there up you there. You are, uh, I think you're plus three. He can, he can do it, but after remember the these characters are DP characters. They yeah, don't exactly. care what you're plus, mate. Exactly. So uh, you can be plus three. You can be plus. Whoa! Wow, that was sick reactions. Yeah. Nice. Just like did it at the range where he was able to. To see that come out. Yeah, I like those reactions. Very good for Jordan. Then. And this is a very good Nakali we're seeing here. Jordan's improved vastly. He, he started with Karen. Uh, his Karen was okay. And then I told him to go for Chun because he's got good execution, but he didn't really like the character. Mm. Ooh. And this is what I'm saying. That is unsafe what he's just done there. That was mad unsafe. The V-trigger he's done is unsafe. It's minus 12 always. Yeah. He, uh, regardless how much you charge, it's minus 12. Mm. So. Most people's reactions to seeing these things <laughs> is to press a button, and if you press a button, you get parried. You get like you're giving him a way out, basically. Yeah, you get parried, and then you get you get like you have to throw him there. Or so what's away. your best? So to be honest with you, that reminds me of the situation where you were up against um, Breathless in Ultra, right? Yes. What? Because because Breathless was a similar sort of thing. I know it was a grab, but like yeah. You know, if you if you just sit there and block, it becomes unblockable. Like yep. a guard breaks you. So what do you, what what's the best thing to do if Alex V triggers in front of you? Oh, uh, he drops it. Throw him. You have to throw him. And if you're out of range for the throw, yeah, you risk blocking and yeah. hoping he doesn't go for the full charge, which they rarely do. Yeah. Or you um jump jump, jump forward. 
jump, jump back. Jump back. Because you wanna, you wanna punish it when he goes, when he, okay. when he lifts it. So, you jump, <coughs> so either you jump just back. don't flinch, play yep. chicken and don't flinch. Yep. To be honest with you, the scaling on it is like when he gets the guard break one, the scaling on it is horrendous anyway. Yeah, he needs, oh there, there needs to be some scaling oh and people do not react to that. It's no. You see Bo um, Bo Bo Dolphin anyway. Dive? You not, see Bo not Dolphin yet, Dive? Not yet. Exact same thing. Yeah, not yet, not yet. I think high, high level players will be reacting yeah. to that in the months to come. The, thing, the mix up with that is stomp. stomp as well. Yeah, like stomp or head, headbutt, that's the mix up. Yeah, because if you try and neutral jump, the stomp will hit you out the... No, 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 no you, can, you can neutral yeah, jump. So you I'm can't anti-air. I'm, I'm chatting complete rubbish because yeah. the stomp is only active when he actually hits the ground. Yeah. It's it's nothing like bison head stomp at all. You can't anti-air the stomp. <laughs> yeah. As soon as it's above your head, it's, it's got a, a hitbox. Yeah. So you can't, you can't anti-air the stomp. That was a very far range. You can angle that crouching fierce. Oh, drop from both players here. But Alex is never out. He can bring this back really quickly. <laughs> he's ex he's exactly like Nakali himself, to be honest. Even more so in that sense. Yeah, he can the he can really bring it back. Ridiculous. Yeah. So yeah, he can. As bring Alex it back. as well, you don't really want to die with full V trigger. You yeah. might as well just do it off of, off a of normal. Yeah. Just, just throw it. that hard punch out. Good punish. I think the heavy one's minus seven. Nice anti air. It's worth using the bar. Yep. And he used that bar because Nakali is plus there. So he wants to get Nakali off. Good use. And of course his uh, V reversal knocks down as well. Yep. Ow, you're... Good damage there. Scared. And this is just something that just that shouldn't really be happening so often. But it's, it's another thing like you're saying, it, it shouldn't work. It but shouldn't it be happening so often. It's by fear. Like, what's he doing? Is he backdashing? What no. is he? Is he pressing buttons? Like, you know what I mean? Alex's knockdown pressure is very. It's exactly like Miko. It's fake. Exactly like Miko. You're getting hit by all this stuff because you don't want to get command grab. Yes. In reality, you're they taking, don't want to command grab. Yeah, you're really. taking you're taking more damage. Yeah. For trying to get weight, <laughs> you're actually taking more damage. Yeah. The command grab does what two twenty maybe. You're taking more damage, and now he, the command grab start. He went for the stomp, that is plus two. On block, yeah. On block, by the way. It's a great so way of getting in anything. against the zone in. Is that gonna, yes, that one, that timing was correct. Can press a light button on the way down to trade with that. Yeah. It's always worth pressing a light button. Okay. Those usually have the best hurt hit boxes and the, the, the smallest hurt boxes. So if you do get those situations, always just press a light button, just just in case it works. Oh, get thrown. And he went for the DP. That was actually end game. Oh, he's done. Good night, shop. Yep, he's done. He's done him. I never really got that sense of inevitability that I get in this game when I was playing Ultra. Yep. You know, like when you get hit by, like when you get hit by Karine and she's got full. You're just like, I'm dead. Luck. I'm dead. Like, I'm, I'm, I know I'm dead. Yeah. The only thing I got that with that um, for an Ultra is uh, even you. That last pump where he pumps the hado into your head. Yeah, when he's already yeah. when he's already ultra you, yes. Yeah. But like you're still there waiting for them to drop the FADC combo, yeah, like yeah, praying yeah. like you might drop in this game you know they're nah, not dropping. Mate, it's not getting dropped, man. <coughs> you know you're getting dropped. Guaranteed. And uh problem said he thinks uh, Alex does pretty good against Nakali. Whoa, we just I went think for once it. he gets a lot more used to his um parries as well because the parry opens up so much yeah. possibilities that right there that's that, that boot that hit him just now what's that plus two on here the boot yeah no it's plus four, mi minus four both ways are you sure 100 percent. but the point is why did that even hit me he's so scared of the commander you get hit by boots mm. from max range and it's just a patient game here oh he missed his v trigger cancel <laughs> He missed his VJ cancel. Now it's a bit scary for both players. Nakali is just insane in this mode. What's all the hair about? That DP anti airs you from like full screen. I swear <laughs> to God. Ridiculous DP. His dash is ridiculous in V Trigger as well. It's the hair, man. The hair as well, man. That's the, that's the worst thing. Like man. just the way that he walks as well. Like Yeah, the hair the hair's like. Put like me off, punch. Man. He could have got hard punch, but most people aren't ready for the max, max uh, damage punishes on a sweep just yet. This time there's a uh, command grab. That would have worked. Back it up. Have you noticed how like nice since, punish. since third strike the characters have got a lot less disrespectful? What do you mean? Um, like 
Alex is very disrespectful in third strike. Oh, the things they said afterwards, yeah. you mean? Yeah, they were insane in first strike. And like Dudley, oh, he could have juggled off that. Yep. Dudley, like. Oh, he didn't hold it. He could have held that. Dudley just cussed you out. Yep. But in Ultra, he's, he wants to be your brethren. Like, hold on, let me buy you a drink. Yeah, all of that, mate. I like you. He in didn't like anyone in third strike. Third strike, ST, man, tell you to go be a family man and all that. Exactly. Put your legs to, like, do more better things with your legs. If yeah, you're gonna, like, if you're going to use your legs, then use <laughs> sign proper like raw, boy. Going in, boy. Here, it's all, they're all, like, polite and that. There's no at ease losers going on. It's like in the tournament and they're supposed to, be, they're shaking hands after the fight. Except for this guy who's like, devour, hour. Can't even say nine else. Does he say, does he say words? I don't know. I know he says devour. He's, I'm sure That's he says, literally all I've seen him I'm say. I'm sure he says one other thing. What the hell is this guy? If you know, let us know in chat. What other things does uh, Nakali say? Yeah, does he say anything else? Nakari. Stun incoming. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. And what, what are you supposed to do about it? You can't, you can't. Alex can't do nothing about that. Because no, but I'm saying anyone. Well, well, at least he, like could just mash, he could just mash the crouch like it, yeah. and you would have got stunned anyway. So what? Well, that's a complete guess. If you guess right there, you're beast, mate. DPs, mate. At least other characters have got like options. Yeah, DP. Well, he threw that <laughs> out there. Nice, nice jump out, but that jump back <laughs> makes it safe for him. Nice link. Rink this. <coughs> nice and space on the elbow yep. as well. You can't do anything about that on block. Look at the range. Hey, and, and there you see you it. Oh my god. What did we tell that you about doing reversals? Stuff. What did we tell you about doing reversals against this character? It don't work. Stop it. Immediately, <laughs> mate. V reversal, you have to just take the, the positive. Oh! It don't work. See, you just got to respect his frames. If he V trigger cancels on you with forward heavy punch. Please just respect the frames and and just hold the command grab because you're gonna take. Because you're anyway. gonna take it anyway, and you get, what you're doing is you're giving up on your. Yeah. V, v hold gauges. the command grab because you're taking it anyway. Uh, thank you, Fluke, for that comment. What did Fluke say? He said, uh, "Good stuff at Kakutop. Next time I hunt you." And that crouching medium punch on that uh, that stand heavy kick is guaranteed on any button. The range is really good. That was a good jump back. I like Jordan's defensive option there, and that's one of the things I was talking about. Problem's another one that has nice. really good defensive options. Problem does a lot of backdashes on his yeah. defense. Well, Problem picked a character that he really had to up his defense with. Um, yep. In Ultra, he was very proactive yep. on, on, on his wake up with... Uh, yeah, there you go. Nice. He was very proactive with... Oh, oh he's punish. dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's all going wrong. All he had to do was a stand medium punch there. <coughs> but with Bison, who's got like yeah, hardly any wake-up really options, he really had to learn a very solid defensive style. Yeah. And he's going to have to maintain it with Alex, because Alex is just as free on wake-up yep. as uh, Bison was. He's got no throw invincible moves on wake-up. His EX he's command grab is he's not throw exactly invincible. His armor is not active until the third, third frame. frame. Even the parries. Even his parry is only yeah. active on the second frame yep. as well. So you can always meet him. Yep. And that that is... Which is not a good situation to be in. Because but it's legit for him because... <laughs> nice. If this guy had a wake-up option, he'd be too good. He's got such such good um, offensive options. So you're respecting the balancing in this game? Oh, so definitely. I'm, I'm respecting that. I just don't know why characters like Nakali don't have to deal with it. He's got everything. And Nakali should be like a 950 character. Really. <laughs> nice. We, we should cancel there. And that is also one of the risks with uh, um, with Alex. Yeah, nice punish. Oh! What a time. Just did it. What a time to do it. Just did it. He has no wake up, but he wake up options. That's, I mean, it's legit. I said it earlier as well. Um, when I think the Zerk did it. You know, when you get into a situation, and, and Nash, Nash players do it as well. Yeah. You get in a situation where you know they have no wake up options. You get far too comfortable going for those meaty options. Yep. Right. Is he? Whoa, he pressed the stand medium during his first three, and that's what I was talking about. He's got the command grab, so what are you going to do there, really? Can't jump out, you're going to get pinned down. There you go. Yep. That's active for four frames as well, that light kick, what so. Can you do? It's good luck getting out of that. You have to guess there. How much you can do, sir? Elbow. Elbow. Whoa, that's a big jump. And he resets! Wow! He 
It went for the reset there. No punish on that. That was well spaced. Ooh. If he doesn't jump like it, that's another thing. He's only He's got a very limited, uh, and you saw back there, he's got a very limited. Uh, the dumb thing options. is, as well, about that elbow, like when they space it that far, you might, you, like with other cat, like bison scissors, for example, yeah. yeah, you'd neutral jump it, right? Yeah. You can't neutral jump that because yeah. you get hit by the, the yeah. hitbox, it's ridiculous. So you've actually got to react to it with something, like if yeah. you've got an invincible move. But it's fast, you just very have to quick. take it. No. Ooh, scary for both players. So basically, the best answer in that situation seems to be empty jump back, and then you get a punish when they the the, what, the headbutt whiffs. The headbutt. No, the um, the oh, lariat the, the, the when he does oh, the, lariat. the lariat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Empty jump back, but and then you get the punishment when they land. That isn't the same situation I was talking about because the situation I was talking about was when, he, when he's in front of your face. Yeah. The problem was doing it from a range. Yes. So yeah. when he's in your face, like right there, you yeah. tend to want to press buttons. Most people, even if he does it on wake up, yeah. if, if you don't haven't done a DP, you tend to just want to press buttons because he's right there. You press buttons. So most people don't throw, so you tend to want to press buttons, and then that gets you parried, and then you get close line. But can you parry critical different. arts? Yes. Parry critical arts. As well. Right. Well, that's the end of the show this evening. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the broadcast tonight. We had some great uh, matches there for you from some of the best players in the UK scene, of course. Uh, packs you'll be able to see representing at Stunfest this weekend. It's live yep. uh, from Ren on Capcom Fighters. Two days of incredible action. Uh, plus, there will be other events happening on over the weekend and on the Friday as well. I think there's going to be a team tournament. There's going to be other games, of course, yep. on display there at Stunfest. Um, Problem X is going to be there. Tyrant. I don't know if he's going. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't see. I didn't see his name on there. But of course, I'll be there with F Word and yep. Zaid on commentary uh, Ooh, all weekend. All the Japanese we got there going there. We've got Goichi, Goichi, Eita, Kazunoko, Momochi, Mago, Tokido, Daigo making his first appearance bon on the Capcom Pro Tour. Bonchan will be there as well. It's going to uh, be a stack lineup. Got German. Sorry, I don't know if he's going. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't see. Yeah. I didn't see his name on there. But then of course, I'll be there with F Word and yep. Zaid on commentary uh, Ooh, all weekend. The Japanese we got there going there. We've got Goichi, Goichi, got Eita, Eita, Kazunoko, Momochi, Mago, Tokido, Daigo making his first appearance bon on the Capcom Pro Tour. Bonchan will be there as well. It's going to uh, be a stack lineup. We've got Germany, we've got Halibel, Halibel's uh, going to the be there. Shiva and uh, what's the other guy? Eugenius, that's it. Yes. Uh, Ryan was supposed to be. Ryan's not going, going now. He's not going anymore. No. And then, of course, we're going to have all the French. We're going to have Aliou, we're going to have Luffy, Luffy we're going to have Kim Star, uh, Tupac, Tupac, Genius, Mr. Crimson, Mr. Crimson, um, Valmaster, we Val said. Valmaster, yeah. definitely. Uh, Phenom can't make it. Phenom's not going to be there. Veggie's not going to be there. Leave his dupes go. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be a stacked lineup. Make sure you're watching that all weekend on Capcom Fires. Live and exclusive, brought to you from Ren in France. The first. Fudo. Fudo, we got Fudo there, don't we? I'm not sure if he's going to be there because he might be in uh, Korea with Team in, uh, Team Razor. For right. Oh, crash. so Jan's not going to be there either. Jan's okay. definitely not going to be. He told me. Whoa, he's so wait, there. does that mean Infiltration's not going to be there? Infiltration's not going to be whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, he can't, he can't, he can't gate keep. Tokido's going to be there? Wow, so that means Tokido's going to win it, does it? Possibly, who knows? So he can't, he can't gate keep, <coughs> can it? No. But yeah, we'll be back uh, for you on Tuesday with coverage and analysis of Stunfest. We'll be looking back on how Stunfest went yep. uh, and we might have something else for you as well. I, I don't even know what it is. So. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you on Tuesday next week. Don't forget, you can watch all the replays of yep. previous shows. They go up on YouTube on the Capcom Fighters channel um, in the next day or so. You can check all our previous episodes as well. And on Thursday nights, it is the weekly tournament right here in London featuring some of the finest players in the UK each and every week, live and direct from Meltdown. Wait, don't we have a, what's it called? A beatdown, isn't it? Beatdown's coming up in June, June the 4th, I believe. Oh, that's coming up too. That's going to have a, a couple of... Uh French players there. I think heads well. travelling for the pop Cumble, bonus. Couple boys, boy. Hey. You can still sign up for that right now at unequaledmedia.com. There's going to be a couple done, boy. You know what I'm Couple boys, boy. <coughs> right. But that is us for tonight. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate you joining us. We'll Thank see you, you real Thank soon. You I believe Mike Ross will be on later with some pro talk as well. So make sure you check that out if you're in the North American time I don't watch that zone. enough because I'm usually in bed by then. But it's that mad is late. funny. Flow. Please keep that doing what so you're funny, doing, you're man. brilliant. Oh, so shout funny. out to F-Champ as well, you were great on there uh, recently as well. Pardon me? F-Champ was great on oh, the man. On Pro Tour. I didn't even get to finish it, what I got up to, I was at work, I was on, on my break, I had like half an hour, I was watching, I was cracking up, people were just looking at me like, this guy laughing. mad funny, shout out to F-Champ. Anyway, take care, 
We'll see you really soon. And don't forget, if you're in America and you're a pro player, sign up for DreamHack Summer. It's next month, June the 18th and 19th. I want to see you in Sweden. Come and play us. Travel, mate. Travel, all right? Take care. Good night. Good night.